Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from Paul Ferguson. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. There she is. Hi, I have to go ahead check the bug. I have to check something in here. Hold on a minute. These doors make all this noise. It sucks. Okay. So, um, what were we in the middle of talking about? We are in the middle of a conversation as always. Every time we get cut off. Um, uh, oh, yeah. No, about your piece. So tell me this thing now about you started telling me what do they call you? The uh, shark. 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 Yes. Because okay. I have. So I have two of my incisors that have burst through the gum. Okay. So. Fact, oh, like your wisdom teeth? Uh, no. I have fun funny fact about that. I actually have all my all four of my wisdom teeth properly grown. Really? I had to get mine Which, surgically removed. Yeah, from what I've heard, <laughs> that never happens. What? The wisdom what teeth never? in properly. But I suppose... Yeah, they never, hardly front, ever do. With how my front teeth are all crammed, it, it, it was easier for them to get in. So I'm confused, though, about what that other word was that you used. You used another word. Not wisdom teeth. You used another word. Uh, the incisors. It's like those front teeth, those the front teeth, you know, that have the sort of the flattish surface. Like the very two front teeth? Or the ones next to them? Uh, the ones next to them are the ones that burst the gums. I have both my front teeth. So when you bite me, you can be like a vampire. Yay. <laughs> a little bit, yes. And <laughs> I'm sorry. The teeth are actually, the two incisors that split that broke the gum are actually sideways, so they do look more like vampire fangs than regular teeth. I don't know. They don't bother me. I, you know, I don't think about them. Like, I I don't have perfect teeth either. I mean, yesterday I had my tooth fixed because I fell, <laughs> as you know. Um, uh, I remember three my bonds. dad used to tell me that his teeth were so bad that he could take, he could take like, a slice of, like, craft cheese, put it in his mouth, and bite down, pull the cheese okay. out, and all there would be was a couple of indentations. <laughs> Yeah, my teeth are like, my teeth used to actually be straight, but what happened was, speaking of teeth, um, my wisdom teeth when I was in high school, they were growing in sideways. My mouth is actually too small. I don't have the average, it's, it's really freaking weird sounding, but basically my mouth wasn't big enough for like my wisdom teeth to even kind of start to come through, so they went in sideways. So what had happened was is when they started like coming in, because I had all four taken out, like my bottom my bottom teeth on the, yeah, my bottom teeth, they're not straight. They're like, they're not perfectly straight. They're a little crooked. And it's because they got squished when the other ones were trying to come through. Um, but I don't know. Like, my teeth, they're not they're not perfect. But I don't have, like, freaking, like, I'm not, like, gross and dirty. My teeth aren't green or anything strange. Um, you know, I have scars. We could talk about my scars. Can I tell yep. you about my scars? I, said, I have scars, too. I've got that one to my eyebrow that I got before I could even remember, according to my to Shonda and my dad, I climbed up and got the razor blade when they weren't looking. Oh my I'm god. I out of my room a couple hours later with this bloody ass cut on my my head. Oh my god, so you have no recollection at all. Like, no recollection of that. that. I was too young to. I was enough to well, mine. my biggest and like longest scar, I'd have to say, is the one from when I got bit by a German Shepherd. That was the only Ooh. time I ever had to have stitches. Where's that? On my leg. So how did you get bit? Like, what happened? So we were visiting a family member of my stepmother's in North Carolina, and mm -hmm. their dog did not like me. It didn't mind my sisters because, like like it, they were female. It didn't mind my mm -hmm. brother, my little brother, because he was small, and it didn't mind my parents because, you know, they didn't really... I would, I'd say bother it, I suppose. It just didn't I, I like, like you. dogs, and when I see them, you know, before that, I I would love going up and petting dogs. Mm -hmm. But um, well, that's why when people started saying that there's that, that you know, like um, like the judge said the thing that one comment about animals, but like then like everybody like was posting that you 
um, when you were little that you killed animals and got pleasure Never. out of it. Never. Um, and you want to know what I want to ask you? When the judge, and this is what this is what I hate about law, because you're supposed to be honest, right? You're supposed to always tell the truth. You know, you know that. Yeah. Okay, I've yeah. I've been arrested. I know. To be honest, so, I couldn't even. Uh, whenever when we had m- mouse problems back in Oklahoma, I could hardly even, you know, smash them against the concrete to kill them. It was just so hard. Yeah, and like, like uh, yeah, like it's like it's like people are taking like these little pieces and they're creating even these fit. elaborate stories. And and I see don't you even fit and putting them together all sorts of wrong, making the puzzle yeah. look absolutely like nothing, just a jumble. Like people. People think I'm insane because I'm in love with you. People think I am a nut job. People think that I'm all these things. They want to think the girl. And I don't care. I don't care. I mean, that shows you how much I love you because this is stuff that's going public. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's why, like, when you said that people are kind of worried about my intent with you, that's kind of confusing and from my perspective because, you know, not for nothing, but number one, I'm a mom. Number two... Um, it's very publicized. Um, and this, this bitch, I hate to say that again, but she keeps putting your stuff online. So if I didn't care about you, why would I risk being heard speaking to somebody who is one of the most hated people in America right now? Why would I why do would that? Why would you risk ruining any reputation that you have? That's what I'm saying. Like, but like, why would anybody, like, I don't understand how people could think that I'm doing this to gain something or, yeah, I don't know. Like, what did they actually say? Like, what are they afraid of, like, with me? Like, that lady and your brother. Like, I really don't understand um, it. I don't. For Joe, it's what not that she's mean? afraid of or anything. It's just she doesn't really, you know, know you. Yeah. My brother, protective older brother thing, you know, he's always wor- He says he's always going to worry about me, and, you know, I appreciate so, that. But what is the worry, though? Like, what is their worry? Like, what's the concern, uh, like? Do he think that, like, I'm just playing a game with you? Like, like what I, does he think? I haven't I quite be told sending... him, you know, anything about our relationship, but, um, you know, he's just, I guess part of it is that he never got to be the protective older brother when we were kids. And yeah. I suppose you could say he's making up for that. I don't, I don't know if that's what it is exactly, but... And the only reason why my page looks generic, like he said, it looks generic, is because I have a private page. I don't have a public page. And the only people that are on my Facebook page are people that I really know. I don't have anyone. Really? Like, a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like for example, some of my friends have, like, thousands of people on their Facebook page. And so that's that's why I'm, like, just so confused on what he's his concern was. Because, like, could, he could be basically telling you, oh, like you said, I could be with the media or... You know, I'm, I, I don't, I'm obviously not using you for I, anything. To be honest, with the fact that I've been contacted by someone who is supposedly from HBO, I wouldn't say that his... I would honestly not say that it's com- his worry is completely baseless. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I agree, because people could be snakes, and I could be pretending to love you just to get information, but I'm not doing that. Yeah. But I understand where people would think that, I guess. I have to understand that, you know. I'm not mad at them. I just... I just don't want them to make you think something of me that's not true because I'm just a normal person. I'm not like, I'm not anything hey, normal. Hey, hey. I love you. That's the thing that matters most. Okay, baby girl. I love you too. I love you so much. Um, that's okay. Because like I said in the text last night, I said time will prove all. You know, it always does. Yep. Um, and they're going to see that I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, but like I told you too, I mean... <clears throat> Even though I'm shy, I would still, I would, so your brother doesn't worry, I would still be willing to meet him so that you can see that I'm a normal person and I'm not crazy looking or anything of the sort. I would have known about that. And, you know, he said he wasn't sure that, you know, he was still suspicious. I mean, he might be thinking about it. I can't say for certain. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you don't believe that I'm out for anything bad or anything, I'm not. I got has told me a lot of things and for a while I never listened to it but with you it hasn't said anything foul anything bad 
My gut instinct no. tells me you are there for me. Okay, baby girl. I am. And, and you know what? The personality that you see and the love that I have for you in my past, and this is what I was trying to text you, um, like it was basically because I'm the way that I am and I don't judge. I, and I'm an empath and I don't judge anybody. And because you're being judged by the world um, and in my past relationships, like because I'm nice and I am accepting of people's flaws, that's how I got so horribly treated because and that's this not, is who I am. That's not right at all. And there are some girls out there that are so crazy and bitchy and, and I'm not like that. I'm just not. I'm just a mellow person, you know? Um, and um, so, no, what you get from me is 100% who I am. I mean, I tell you things that some of my closest friends don't even know. <laughs> I tell you everything, my inner thoughts that I typically wouldn't even say. Um, you know, I mean, for, with you, like when I initially reached out, yeah, you know, I did think you were good looking at all that stuff. But honestly, originally, like, if I really were to think back to, like, when the case exploded, um, which is already, well, what is it, over a year? Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I was more, I guess, curious because it just seemed like the things that they were saying and the things that I was hearing and seeing myself, I just felt like it was all wrong. Like, I did. I just felt like yeah. it was all wrong. And I didn't agree with everyone. Uh, like I said, I told you that. Like, I was always the odd man out in these groups. I'm in a lot of crime, like, different types of groups. And um, if I could go back to college, I'd want to go back for forensic psychology, um, you know, just to learn about, like, people and their minds. Like, they say that you're a psychopath. Um, so what makes you a psychopath? You know, um, I know the definition of a psychopath. I do. Yeah. I um, think I've heard it before, but I don't even remember at this point. I've been called psychopath, sociopath, narcissistic. When you call me back again, I'm going to explain to you exactly because I was in um, these therapy things, these group therapy things for two years um, about those things. So I can tell you exactly what they mean and all that. And people have you completely, completely wrong. Yeah. And I will take that till the day I die. So, you know, but no, I'm now I'm excited to talk to you about this because it's really important. Um, and I'm a nerd, so I know like a lot of things. I am nerdy. I don't look like a nerd, but I am. Um, I but yeah, we're going to get this connected. Nerd. Yeah, I'll be your sexy nerd all the time. Absolutely. I'm your girl, babe. So, like, that's it. You know, you have me. You have a body. You just can't be with your body because you're there, you know, in every way. So, so anyway, we'll do one more call. And Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. What up, baby? What up, baby? <laughs> Uh, when it comes to singing, I'm a bass, so I can hit some pretty low notes, even when I'm not singing. Oh, my God. Well, sing to me. <laughs> Are you sure? Sing. It might be garbled over the freaking phone. So, sing me something beautiful. Do you? I know that you said you don't have music there, right? Uh, I have a bit. I could probably look through and see what I might sing to you. Oh, I'd love for you to sing to me. Uh, let me look at my choices. Okay. I actually like when you have your little size that she made that video of. I think they're sexy. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good. If you really sing to me, oh my god. <laughs> Nobody's ever sung to me before. Uh, I, I, I also get shy when it comes to like singing for people. I probably should have mentioned that. It's, I don't know, I feel like sometimes they'll be expecting better than I can actually give. Uh, Babe, you are perfect to me no matter what, okay? Yep. Uh, it'll probably also be better if I can uh, get some, get my earbuds. I'll see if somebody can grab them for me. Uh, okay. I'm excited. Uh, Barring my bum. 
donkeys he had them on him. Cool. Alright, here we go. And your body, if I'm in just a marari, you're too fried, need a ticket. I bet you taste this for so. I went up, up, up on a leader. If you're cheap enough, he's a keeper. Tequila and vodka, girl, you might be a problem. Run away, run away, run away, run away. I know that I should. But my heart wanna stay, wanna stay, wanna stay, wanna stay now. You can see it in my eyes that I wanna take it down right now if I could. So I hope you know what I mean when I say Let me take you dancing Two step to the bedroom We don't need no dance floor Let me see your best move Anything could happen Ever since I met you No need to imagine Baby, all I'm asking Is let me take you dancing Wow, babe, you can really sing I was in chorus for two years no, like, you really can sing. Like, I honestly, I was, like, not expecting that. Yeah. Look at you, you multi-talented man, you. Wow. And it's wild because you're able to go up into, a, like, a, what do they call that? Like, a higher... A uh, falsetto? It's like, it, it, it's wild. It's, wow. <laughs> that was so cool. That was really cool. Sing some more. I want to hear one more. Oh, more? Uh... I have quite a few other songs. Uh, it close my eyes and listen to you. It's like you're right here with me. I love it. Mm. Oh, there's your... Mm. <laughs> I couldn't believe that she made a recording of a bunch of those. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Mwah. Mwah. I wish I was oh. kissing you. I found a love for me. Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. I found a girl. Beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell in love. Not knowing what it was. I will not give you up this time. Darling, just kiss me below. Your heart is all I own. And in your eyes, you're holding mine. Baby, I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Barefoot on the grass, listening to our favorite song. When you said you loved the mess, I whispered underneath my breath, but you heard it, darling, you look perfect tonight. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's, you know, that song, I love that song so much. And I remember when I first heard it, I was like, wow, man, I wish that someone like you had that. that about me, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I have you singing that song. It's beautiful. I love you. I love you too, baby girl. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I, you really, you, you touched me like in this emotional place. I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. It's beautiful. But you have me in tears. <laughs> really. Uh, happy <sighs> tears so right. I hope I didn't make you cry in any bad way. No, you just make me love you more and more every day. <laughs> You're the only man that has ever sung to me, ever. Um, well, if you want, I'll sing to you every day when we're together. Yes, I would love that. 
just one little thing every phone call you know like when, well at least once a day i'll say <laughs> you know once the phone call is i don't want to overwhelm you yeah. um i could definitely try to try to sing to you once a phone call i'll probably have to I don't know, figure out maybe a bigger library, but I can definitely make it work. That's so beautiful. I love you so much. Nobody's ever, ever touched me like that, like you do. It's, it's beautiful. I love you too, baby girl. So, so much. I just can't wait to be there with you. I bet, uh, how much you want to bet that any of the people on Zap Girl's channel who heard that are so jealous right now? Good, let them be jealous, because... I'm a exactly. tough I am a to tough be jealous. You're mine. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I'm totally, especially once I started getting angry over things and I'm just like, hell no. And that's when I like started laughing. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care. You're my love. And I want the whole world to know that you are love, that you're not the monster that everybody says you are. You're not. You know, and I don't care if everybody else on this planet, that's what I was telling you via text today. Like, you know, yeah, when you get out of jail, because you're going to get out, um, it might be a little bit difficult because everybody knows who you are, but mm -hmm. that is not going to make me stray or go away at all. I will cling even harder to you just to show yep. people, fuck you, you know, like, you know, you guys don't really know this man. All you guys know are these stories yep. that are ludicrous. If we can get it reduced to 10 years... I only got about another eight and a half to go. We deserve that miracle, baby. I hope we can get that. I want to be with you so badly. I just, I could handle that. I could handle ten years. I could handle ten years. I could. I could handle ten years, especially if it had parole, with parole possibility of five. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But not thirty. <laughs> not thirty. Not thirty. God, that's just torture. That's why I'm, why do you think I'm going so crazy getting these attorneys? I'm like, I know, freaking, girl. you know, as long I, as we I, have each other, we'll get through this. Okay. We will. And know that if you're in there, that I will be your, I will always be your strength and everything, because I can't even imagine how you're going to feel if it turns out that way. I mean, I saw it on your face in the courtroom. Um, and I was shocked and horror and just. It was like a slap to the face. I'd done so much to make sure that Shonda didn't get away with what she did. And you were honest. I was honest. That's she why was anything I got but. Because you want to know what they ask you questions, right? And this is like an example of like things that I've written down. They that they ask you questions that you could have so easily just lied, but you almost like incriminated yourself by being almost too truthful. Yeah. And and because I'm Threw a myself person, under the bus. Yeah, it's like because I am someone who is so much about truth, I think that's what drew me to you. Like when I was watching the case and everything, I'm like, wow, like this guy is like really like being, just, he's just being straight up like what was going on. And yeah. did you, story. uh, did you watch Shonda's testimony too? Oh, hell yeah. I watched everything. What, everything. what did you think of hers? Of I, I, I haven't even gotten to see it or hear any of what she said. Well, what disgusted me, the thing I noticed most first about 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 Shonda was with your testimony because I wanted to see if she would show emotion about seeing that her son was on the stand going through this. And all I saw her doing with her cocky face was just shaking her head and I wanted to punch her in the face. And this is way before we started talking. Mm -hmm. um, and you also and got I, to see my sexy glare then too, huh? Oh, <laughs> I love that, Claire, baby. <laughs> Claire. Yes, you, we are. You alone, baby. Something had to bring us together. Like, it doesn't just happen like that. It, it doesn't. doesn't. It really doesn't. Like, like I said, I, I have never clicked with anyone the way I clicked with you. I know. That's how I feel, too. And it's like, like, before, like, I mean, I don't know how you were with other girls, but, like, I always felt like I had to kind of, like, just be, like, more quiet, like, so, like, kind of get a feel like what can I say that won't piss somebody off or whatever but it's like with you everything is just so natural like it's like yeah. we are just like you know we're so yeah, in love there was there was this one crush I had in middle school well high, elementary and middle school um but she was also a friend so you know mm -hmm. I never really told her because I didn't want to ruin her friendship 
Yeah. But I remember when I found, when I found her again in middle school, there was this you know, awkward pause of, uh, oh, uh, uh, hi. <laughs> but there was, there's not any of that with you. And, I mean, I haven't seen you physically, but I don't doubt that it'll be the same as it has been from the moment we started talking on the phone, baby girl. Oh, it's going to be better. It's going to so be better. So much better. I won't be, be looking at a still image on a screen. I'll be looking at my beautiful life in person. Well, that's why, like, I sent you even, like, pictures of me, like, like the, those pictures, like, that that one picture with the pigtails. That was just, like, on a really hot summer day. My hair was up. You have one like, minute left. Oh, fuck her. Um, I had, um, like, just some, like, little tiny, like, tank top. Like, I made sure to send you, like, real types of pictures. I did not, you know, like I said, even the ones that they didn't send you that they said were inappropriate, they were not inappropriate. And I'm so upset about that. Um... I wanted you to at least have a bunch of images so that you could put it all in your head. Um, you know. So you're going to have to call me back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, I definitely will, but baby girl. We're in our last minute right now. It was probably down to like 20 seconds. I want to smell you. I want to smell you, baby girl. I want, I want to know what you're you. Mmm. Okay, so we're gonna we gotta do this. We gotta figure this shit out. They gotta transfer you. Soon. I promise you you'll be the first to know. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hey baby girl. Hey Hi. I'm so happy to hear you. <laughs> happy to hear you. I'm too, getting baby. in my car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm a little confused. Tell me about this person. What are they doing? They're saying that they're with you and that they want messages. And how how was this Uh, found out? I am so confused. uh, I wouldn't say that it's absolute, but I'd say it's a possible and very plausible theory. The Zav girl, Tiffany, is saying that she is my significant other or that, you know, we're still talking even though we're not in a relationship, something like that. Oh, and you're talking about that girl saying that she might be your girlfriend. Yes, uh, not you. Of course not, baby. You think uh, you think I would talk to you if I thought you were that girl? I trust you. I do. Ew. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen her, but she's really, really ugly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah, just to make it you. worse. No, it's not but, even like that. Like, just like the fact that she's who she is, who I don't like, and... The fact that she ugly that she's ugly just makes it worse because she thinks like she's this media guru, right? And like I'm gonna say exactly how her thinking. She's a bad ass, and she sits and she she basically. I just talked to a guard that's very good. He's a nice guy, and he just told me that that shouldn't be possible. She shouldn't have them because it should only be given out if you know government directed. So exactly. he, he said that I should write both write down both her name and her real name. I'm also going to get her email address and a couple of video names from Joe. And I have her email address yeah. already because I emailed her. So <laughs> you know. Oh. oh my God! I don't yep. like her. I don't like. Her. I don't either. But I will say she, this apparently, though. Apparently, according to Joe, she's distributing them to other YouTubers as well. Well. Oh yeah, she's, she's got that everywhere. It won't Everywhere. be too much of a problem. Once we shut down the main source, we can sever the flow of information, right? Yes. We shut her down. We have to. No one else can get the information. And you know what the sad part is? Is that she's actually making money off of you because she's got oh. a, the, the... Basically, you, with YouTube... You want my honest when, when you get about certain... that? That money belongs to me because it's my call she's using. Exactly. Exactly. And And the whole thing is, is that... But once you get a certain amount, I actually thought about doing this myself, starting a YouTube channel because yeah, but um, you like make her, of course. Kind of I know money. that much as well. You oh no, I would like never. That. No, 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 not like for stuff like that. Like I was actually thinking of starting a YouTube channel to help people that have been through trauma and have trauma response and things I, like um, that because that's what I deal with. You know. I'm going to text you something because uh, okay. I don't want. 
I don't want to have to worry about people going to it. Okay. I know I'm trying to find a place to park right now. <laughs> I'm driving around. I'm like, where can I park? Um, I don't know. Spending and upset. Okay, let me see what my sexy man had to say. Let's see. Bill <laughs> his What is what is that? No wait, but wait, hold on a second. I'm so confused. I know that that's your name on freaking, on, um, what is it that I have you on? Hold on a second. Let me pull it up. On, oops, I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, it's TikTok, right? Yep. Like, is, yep. Yeah. But TikTok is yes. connected to that. Okay. So. So wait, so wait, I'm so confused because, um, and, and, and you know what else, too? It's funny because she, she, you know what she actually did the other day? I was watching one of her things, and the other day she she basically played your videos, and it took forever because she's like, oh, well, I don't want to do anything illegal by, you know, using copyrighted music if he has music in his videos. And I'm thinking to myself, bitch, like, you shouldn't even be having his phone calls. And yeah. the message that I sent to her, once I park, I'll read it to you. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know... I'm not like a, I'm not being like a thug type chick. I'm being very mature and like I know the law and 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 I'm hearing these things and like I said, as much as I don't like to see you sad, like I keep watching these videos because I'm like I'm gonna start taking notes on things that are just I don't know. Like I need to talk to an attorney. I am gonna reach out to your attorney and speak with him if if you mm -hmm. want me to. Um, because I'll, I'll leave somebody, that up to you. To be honest, I don't know whether or not he'll talk to you. He's uh, Randy's tried to talk to him. I think Joe's tried to talk to him. I think Nolan's tried to talk to him. I don't know how many of them have ever actually managed to get contact and have contact returned. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> if I tell him what we are, maybe he'll give me more, especially because I'm smart. I know legal terms and things like that like so yeah. you know if he's supposed to be representing you this is this is an atrocity bitch this is like a complete atrocity if he's supposed to be representing you for this appeal you guys should have been starting to work on that the day that you got that verdict that should have been it that should have been the end yeah. of it that day as soon as you left court and that's what i thought in my mind i was like okay well they're definitely going to meet now together because you know now they have to come up with a strategy for the appeal no, and, that's, that's not what and, happened, sadly. And the only I wish reason, I had $20,000. I know that, people <laughs> said that several people said that I turned around and smiled at someone. That's because someone, That's because Joe and Randy were in the courtroom. And, you know, oh, At that okay. point, I still okay. had some hope before I found you, but I still had some hope and was praying that I'd be sentenced lightly, you know? I know. Baby, we gotta change this. This, this can't be. I know. This can't I know, be baby right. Girl. It can't be. You know I, why? I won't because let it be both my of life. us. I won't. It can't be. It can't be your life, and we both have such shitty lives that we deserve to both be happy. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's like m manipulation, and pe this is the thing. Because I have experience, like I told you, with being actually in a relationship with a sociopath and somebody who was narcissistic, um, like, there is just so much stuff. Like, I want to scream at so many people, like, when I hear things about you, especially now that, you know, I mean, it's already, like, a week or whatever, but it's, like, it's so wrong. People, the way that they think of you is just so wrong, and I just, I'm so angry. Like, I literally, like I told you before, I was, like, thinking, I'm, like, you know what? I should just go to the fucking media and tell them I want to speak to the public because, I, I just feel like, I don't know, yeah. I, I'm so angry. Like I said, for right now, we should definitely be careful. Okay, babe, I'm letting you handle this whole thing. Okay. I just mm -hmm. I just don't want the five weeks to pass, and then you're screwed, you know? I know, I know. And I'll still have, love you, and I'll still be there, yep, but... <laughs> yep, I have gonna be Randy upset. and Joe helping to work on it, and, you know... One of the guards okay. in here, like, I'm not sure if I told you, but he actually, I told him about it, and he said, you know, the whole, they shouldn't be able to do that unless government issued. He wants me to write down, you know, all of that. So, I did tell you about that. I yeah. just remember, jeez, uh, my memory no, no, is just so freaking spotty. I hate it. 
You know why? That's stress, babe. That's stress. My my mind is the same way. It's been that way for years. Like like I told you yesterday, I could be in mid conversation with somebody and like literally just like what totally forget about? what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, uh, I probably have done it with you. Like because my mind is always so consumed with stuff, it's just like it's it's wild. But you've taken me like I said to you in that that text before, as horrible as this is, if it wasn't for this horrible thing I would have never met you. And yeah. um, and it's really weird the way that life works. But now that I have met you, you know, I want to help you fight this. You know, I mean, like I told you, I, I do think, and I never said those words to you, do I think you should have done more? Yes, I do think you should have done more. But you at the same time, the but at the same time, when you have parents, because my parents were not good parents, okay? I never had, like, the kind of parents that were affectionate and loving and, giving me good advice about things. I didn't have that. I never had that. My mother was not affectionate with me at all. Neither was my dad. Yeah. Um, I never had you know, stability when I was a kid either. Yeah. So, you know, and I and I can totally, totally relate to that. And then it's like you have your dad wanting you out of the house, and then, you know, you're going there to, to your mother's house, you know, and I did agree with what the attorney said was that, you know, you probably had nowhere else to go, and you know what, that, that even to us. There were so many contributing factors, in my opinion, and I'm not going to say them all on the phone. I'll say them when yeah. I see you, but, you know, there's so many contributing factors to what happened that you shouldn't have to bear the burden, not to this extent. Like I said, if they yeah. wanted to put you in jail for 10 years, fine, put you in jail for 10 fucking years. But this this is taking your life away from you, and in my opinion, that means this is what it comes down to. Like I told you last night, that means that two children's lives were destroyed because of one monster. And it turns out that the other kid is the one that I'm absolutely head over heels for. And I just, you know, like I said, if I thought you were really like what everybody thinks you are, like, trust me, I would not be talking to you. You never um, would have contacted me in the first place. I know this girl. No. And I, oh, yeah, <laughs> not at all, man. Like, I hate, like, bad people. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah. Was, this was different. I was this told was different. by, I don't even remember who, that Cecil was a fair and, and honest and compassionate, merciful judge. Yeah. He was my ass. I know. I know. And he, he get right with your mom, but not with you. Not with yeah, you. I, the bitch deserved to be locked up for the rest of her life to ensure she never, ever hurt anyone again. Never exactly. caused anything like this. I you know what my first thing if was? If he had gotten away with this, what my mother oh, and half-brother may have gone through at her hands, yes. I cannot imagine. I don't want I mean, I think about imagine. Gabriel, you know, and if... Uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Me, careful. I mean, G. G, sorry. Think about G. Uh, uh, how did and, you even... How did you... And I'm sorry. Yeah, no, how, how did you how did, know... His name? Because his name is, yeah, his name has been blocked everywhere. Just, it's geez. not blocked anywhere on the media. Oh, not anymore. God. Oh, no. During the court case, yes. During the court case, they didn't, but now, yes, it's everywhere. Uh, uh, I just, I don't want him to have to ever have to worry about people making the connection between this sweet, innocent child that he is and this horrible, murderous monster that is our mother. I don't. That's, that's I know. not him. I know. It's not him. And you know what? Who is he with right now? Who, who has I saw they actually sent a picture to my lawyer, and I saw it. It was his ninth birthday. He had a little uh, cake that was in the shape, shape of a Minecraft pig's head. He had a big <laughs> old grin on his face. Yes. Aww. No, I, I don't want you to worry about that. You know what? If he's in good hands, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I mean... Honestly, by the time he's older, like, think about it. Like, when he's, like, you know, even, like, in high school. Like, it's not even going to be, like, a thing. You know what I mean? Time will have passed. Yeah. And, of course, if you're still there, he's going to know why, obviously, because he's going to want to know why, because he's probably mm -hmm. not going to really remember much. Um, yeah. Kids forget things like that, you know? Um, yeah. Well, sometimes. <laughs> hey, we were all but, kids once. We all have spotty memory of those days. <laughs> yes, yes. Even me. And, Heck, I hardly remember any, very much of anything you before have DHS. Uh, 
Oh, God, here goes our one minute. That's okay. I have $76 on our account, so we're good. So when it cuts off, just call yeah, me back. Yeah. I'm still looking for a business card. Yeah. I will. No, no I've been trying. When I, when I got your text and you were half asleep this morning, you sounded distant, and I was like, oh, no. I'm like, the yep. people that are unsure of me got to him. I'm like, they're getting to him. And no, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. I promise you, I'm I'm here. And I just, yeah, I freaked out a little bit. I have, and you have to be patient with me because I've been through a lot, too. <laughs> like, I, I have. I do. We've both been through a lot, so I suppose there are things that we'll both have to be patient with each other with. Yes, absolutely. I just want to come and see you. I wish I knew you were going to be there next week or not, because I seriously <laughs> would fly there. Yep. You know, we're going to get cut off now. I can see my time, yeah. so um, it's going to cut off, so just call me right back, okay? I will. Thank you for using well. Securus. Goodbye. Bye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from an incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hey, now I can talk normal and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, it's raining out here. It's so cold. It's freezing. Yucky. I'm actually in my pajamas right now. I'm wearing um, these flannel pajamas, <laughs> and they have, oh. like, lambs on them. It's so funny. I'm not wearing my sexy stuff, but yes. But I can't even imagine if I actually got to be with you. I, oh, <laughs> you know, on our wedding night, especially, yep. you know, I, like, want to, like, if they say no, I want to, like, give someone money and, like, pay someone off or something because it obviously works with the jails out there. I mean, this girl's getting all these conversations. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I want to be able to lay with you, you know? You ready to let me hear you, though? Hear your mm-hmm. voice? No. Yeah, I want to lay with you. I want to be able to hear your voice and feel your warm breath on my neck when you're talking to me and holding me. And I want those nice long arms around me because you could just wrap me up because I'm so much tinier than you. Um, yeah, that would be beautiful. That would yeah. be beautiful. And we can be called the craziest people in the world. I just got another notification. Another thing was posted. Um, not about me and you or anything. It was about something else. So I'm, I don't want to waste my time talking about all that stupid stuff. Yeah, let's, um, let's not. I just want to talk to you because I might lose you soon. So talk to me. Talk to me, babe. Tell me what's in your mind. Did you dream about me? Have you thought about me? Of course, what I did you think about you only and always about you. We're going to make this happen. You, you don't understand. You have a strong woman on your side now. Like, I'm... You know, this is going to happen. I, 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 I love you, I love and I you want to girl. be with you. And, um, yeah, and you're incredibly sexy. I mean, I'd be lying, like I said, if I, if that isn't what I, if I didn't tell you that that's what originally drew me to the case initially. It was like, yeah, I heard the story, but then when I saw you, I was like, oh man, what? A, like, people are going to think I'm a fucking nutcase. Like, I knew they would. But like I said, I don't care what people think of me. I just want you beside me and... Let's focus on right now. Let's not look at anything else, okay? Okay, that sounds good. So talk to me. Tell me everything that's in your mind. And for you, it's such a different thing, I'm sure, because, you know, you're still a virgin. And to be able to give that to you and the fact that you choose me, um, that's sexy in itself, babe. (laughs) Um, Because, yeah... Yeah, and I, I I don't know how we're going to do this, how we're not going to touch each other. I'm sure we're going to get in trouble all the time because when I come to visit you, <laughs> I'm not going to, it's going to be really hard. Um, well, hard, get it hard. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm shy. I'm really, really shy. You have to talk to me. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, baby girl. Hi. Sorry, it took me a sec. I had to. They had my cart here, and I had to go give the information on that on Vav to the guard who said, wanted me to write it down for him. So, do you think that that guard, like, I mean, are there are some of them cool? You think he's really going to try to? Do some something? of them are very cool. Yes, especially uh, Wally, as we call him. I don't know what his full officer name is. I just know that he's called Wally. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, let's see, I don't know too many of the guards, to be honest. There's 
Spencer, who some of the people in here call her, well, not to his face, but they call him Percy, you know, from uh, the Green Mile. Okay, okay. Because he looks like Percy from the Green Mile and acts like him. And then there's <laughs> Hellman, who some people literally will joke around and call mayonnaise, you know, like Hellman mayonnaise. Like mayo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, he has no problem with it. He's one of those cool guys who's like, yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm mayo, man. <laughs> uh, I'd say the one so, one of the bad things that being in Teapot reminds me of is the guy that I had at the bunkie at one point. He Toast. Well, nicknamed Toast. I don't even remember his real name. Nor do I care. Oh, God. <laughs> he said it was because he had this, like, tattoo of like a piece of toast or something on his shoulder no the other guys told me yeah that's not it guy has that's probably weird. had every drug in the dictionary and his he's brain toasted. is <laughs> yeah yes he's toasted he's absolutely uh, that, toasted. he's the reason that i was i'm no longer on uh bottom tier because when i was first here i was on bottom tier but yeah he was in the shower and he was I don't know if he was jacking off or if he was just screaming and yelling. And it was just like, what in the fuck? And the moment I hit the button to try to get out of there and they responded, he tried to accuse me of attacking him. You know, what? hitting him or something. I know! <laughs> yeah, my so baby. the moment they, the moment I saw them come in, I literally put my hands up like I didn't do nothing. But yeah, yeah, there was yeah. no problems. They just took me upstairs, and that uh, was that. Yeah. And then, of course, the guys on bottom here who were chill with me were not happy. And basically so, like, bullied him out of the pot. Oh, okay. Just, you know. Okay. I was yeah. the guy they were cool and chill with. Exactly. I didn't like this other fucker. That's good, though, that, like, you're cool with people like that. Yep. You know, people aren't, Of course, like, in after. here, I try to be careful not to trust people. We had this one dude in here. No. Fucker mm-hmm. stole some of my commissary. Literally, at one Are point, stole half of a noodle that I was blowing up, you know, soaking in hot water. Oh, I would have been so pissed. Oh, believe me, I was. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, that would be a reason for you to flip out. Absolutely. And, and, you know, um, I have to And then to he tried to blame that... it on my bunkie, who, mind you, I wouldn't say I trust him with my life, but I knew him well enough to know that if he wanted something from my commissary, he would have asked, and he would have respected if I said no. Exactly. That. And how it should be. How it should be. Yeah. And so, like, what about, like, even the bathroom? Do you have to go to the bathroom in front of your roommate or bunkie or uh, whatever? We use the... Since the um, toilet... And the shower are at the back of the cell. It's easy to just, you know, we take our towel or our blankets. Most of them already have holes poked in them for us by other inmates from who knows how long ago. And we hang them on the, uh, I don't really know what they're called. It's like little spokes that are for like towel hang for towels, but we hang our towels okay. on them. Run it across that area so we have some privacy. Oh, of course, okay. You know, that doesn't stop the smell from when <laughs> when, a bunk, when someone's taking a shit. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> that's right because like you, you can have My somebody next to irritable you. bowel syndrome. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> when oh, he farts, man. it's like death in his ass. <laughs> I've literally told him, it, did death crawl up your ass and die? Dude, is it like a room or are you actually in a cell? Uh, so we have the day room area, which I'm in right now. It's got the two, it's got two uh, bones mounted to the wall. Okay. Um, and then there's the cells, which are about, I want to say, eight feet by six feet length and width. And maybe eight feet tall. Oh, wow. Okay. And each uh, bunk is, I'd say, a little, maybe a little bit over, if not exactly six feet. Okay. The mats are no thicker than two inches. And 
Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I got a notification from Sad Girl. Let's see what it is, babe. Okay. Oh, boy. Let, let's see. Hold on. I wonder what she'll think when she hears her comment read aloud. <laughs> oh, man, I hope she goes down so bad. I really, so really do. do. I. I want her to go down. Well, I did email her, and I did tell her I would use the extent of the law. Okay, here it is. Here's one. Um, it says, that girl uploaded. Paul writes a letter to Shonda complaining about beds, food, and what's the other thing it says? Um, hold on. Can you hear that? Hear what? I was. Just, I figured out a way to play the thing, but it, like, I didn't know if you could hear it. But anyway, it said that you wrote your mom a letter. Yeah, I was pissed off because she's been. The only reason that I've, I've been here this long is because she's been dragging it out. Though at this point, being able to meet you, I wouldn't say that I'm ungrateful. I guess that's one of the few good things that came out of it. I got to meet you. Yes. <laughs> You're stuck with me, babe. I know, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see you soon. This really, really sucks. So, like, yeah, like, I was. I had forgotten that you had said that you cannot have visitors there, so... Yep, they're dragging out COVID. It's a bunch of bullshit. This sucks. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you too, girl. Like I said, if you you can figure out the video thing, we could definitely talk. See each other. Yeah. But I I, I have no idea how that works, and... I don't think I could get the full proper details from anyone. But like on your on your um what you call it page TikTok, you knew how to do like effects and stuff. Effects on, I mean the effects on there weren't too hard. It was like how did simplistic. you do it? Like there's there's a bunch of them. Yeah, uh, filters. No, but it's not filters. There's one like for example, like where you're like running, but it turns into, it almost looks like a ghost running. Ah, um, that one was, that that (laughs) one was after I finished the video, there's like this small little part where you can like set certain effects and whatnot. Oh. (laughs) Yes. I think you're you're talking about the one where, you know, I was saying how normal anime characters dodge a bullet versus how Ultra Instinct Goku does. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, <laughs> there's that one, and then you had um, you had the what call it? You had the frozen dinner that came with two plastic things on it. Um, frozen dinner. And you're like, I don't know which video, which thing it was on, but it was like, you're like, maybe it was on Facebook, and you're like talking about the oddity of how you opened up the thing and it has two plastic covers on it on the, on the frozen dinner it was the frozen dinner I don't and, even remember that one <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see which other ones are really memorable to me um I don't know I just love seeing you happy like when you're happy like I saw the ones with you and your little brother with the fireworks uh saw the firework the, one the um fourth of July live stream yes yep yep <laughs> I watched that I watched, I try to find happy things to see. I don't want to see all sad things because, yep. like, literally, like, not to upset you, but, like, like when I watch, like, the other stuff, which I do only because I want to see you actually moving around, like, so I know you're real. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm so cheesy, but that's true. I want to, like, remember that you're real. Um, so, like, what was I saying? See, I forget what I'm saying all the time. Uh, um, moving around, me moving around to make sure I'm real, something like that. <laughs> well, Yeah. Well, when I hear your voice, and it's funny, because, like, I'll, like, listen to it just to, read, like, make sure. I'm like, oh, my God, it really is him that I'm talking to. Like, when I hear your voice, I'm like, there was one point on the stand where it looked like you wanted to tell somebody off. You were getting annoyed, I could tell. Like, I was so able to feel your energy, and it was, I can't remember what the guy said to you. But, like, you looked really pissed off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was like, okay. yeah, Shonda's Shonda's public defender was Yeah, he was not helping himself. He was, he was a firing shark. away at you. 
I know that he was just doing his job, but it doesn't stop the fact that it was pissing me off. He was defending that murdering monster. I just feel in all of this that what should have ultimately happened, because I try to always, even if I could never do something that, and I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about Shonda. Even if I can't ever, like, picture myself doing something, I try to put myself in someone's place and think, okay, well, if I was in this situation, what would I do? And my first thing that I would have done if I was her, you know, because yeah. your mom's in my, your, me and your mom are like the same age. Um, like basically what I would have done was from the minute that when the cops got there and they knew that it's something more beyond than what the lie was that she was saying about that, you know, hunger strike or whatever. Yeah. Um, as a mother, and I, and I can say this cause I'm a mom, I would have made sure that my other child, that there was nothing, not even a mention, I would have immediately said, my other children know nothing about this. And, you know, like I would have played it up as best as I could to keep you in the clear. And and like I said, the fact that she threw you under the bus, like, because she was saying, like, some of those things were your idea. And I'm like, even if that were true, even if it were true, why would she do that? Like, why would she freaking do that that's just wrong it's it's so wrong you know um yeah that's what i think from a mother's standpoint like i would cover for my kid for anything if my daughter murdered someone mm-hmm. i would totally take the rap for it i would i would i would to totally be honest, take the rap for it i don't remember if any of the ideas were mine they there may have been some that were and if i could remember i'd take full responsibility because that was my problem but yeah, she definitely should have at least owned up to the fact that she fucked up a lot bigger than I did. Do you have, like, visions that haunt you? Um, Before I was able to talk to you, I would sometimes suffer from night terrors of being in Timothy's place. I'd wake up with these phantom pains in my stomach. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And see, to me, that's enough punishment that you have to live with and deal with and, yeah. you know, get therapy for, you know? Yeah. I don't care if you are by law legal age. You know what, man? Like, when it comes to parental figures, like, you're supposed to think that what they're telling you is the right thing. Mm-hmm. And we're kind of programmed that way, you know? Yeah. It's not something that's easily and reprogrammable either. I think you're salvageable, though. I think that if we were together, our life would be totally normal. Exactly. I, I'm not afraid of you. Like, some people, like, that was what one of the people on YouTube said. They're like, aren't you afraid to actually be alone with him? And I was like, absolutely not. Not at all. I said, I don't fear him You'd at all. You'd probably be very excited to be alone with me, wouldn't you, baby girl? Yes, I you would. Have one minute He's left. Super excited. Oh, there's, ah, there's our um, person. I hate <laughs> that bitch. I hate that bitch, baby. I just want to fly there. I should just fly to Michigan just to know I'm in the same state as you. If but that you might make it worse because then we're like. But then it would be worse because then it would be like, okay, we're in the same state, but like I can't even see you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's horrible. Okay, so we're gonna get disconnected here in a minute. So um, yeah, just call me back. You know I will, baby girl. My gorgeous, gorgeous Paul, I love you. I love you too, my beautiful wife. Okay, so she's going to cut us off now, so um, so call me right back, okay? I will. You know okay. I will. Okay, I love you. I love you, too, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, too. Bye-bye, baby. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... There she is. Hey, baby Hi. girl. Hey, baby, I'm going to put you the phone to my... To my heart, so I can feel like you're closer to me. <laughs> so, did they at least tell you what the maximum amount of time would be before your transfer, or nothing at all? Nothing at all, unfortunately. Hmm. I know, baby. I know. Okay. So, so what are some good ways that we could let's like come up with a couple of coping strategies, like to? Well, I know that like talking to, to you or texting you is definitely one. You know, yeah, able absolutely. People to calm me down was just thinking about you. I hope I always give you that effect. And, you know, like you said, you know, with your anger, 
Um, you know, if you, you know, we're going to talk positive and if you're out of there and even if you're in there and you're agitated about anything, even somebody else, like you have every right. There is nothing wrong like with being angry and expressing your feelings and even raising your voice. It's different if you were doing that to me. Um, but if you can keep like your, even if you feel like maybe it's excessive, you know what? Everybody's fucking different. So like, yeah, if you vent and you have someone who loves you, that's not going to judge you. And, you know, you need to get anything that's in your head out, you know, because yeah. taking up headspace and, it, and then it fills, like you said, and then it over explodes like that. That's the old. That's who I used to be. I would just suck yeah. up everything. And then one day, like it could be something so minor and all yeah. of a sudden, boom. I would explode. And um, that's why I'm so, like, straightforward with you and stuff and why I am so just honest and everything because I don't want to present myself as somebody different, you know? Like, yep. I wouldn't I don't do that. Want, I don't want to present myself as someone I'm not you either, very girl. There were times maybe back when I was younger where I wanted to try to be something for that would make girls attracted to me and not just be me. But... Not with you. You accept me for who I am. I don't am. want you to change. I you love who you are. Yep. And I love who you are, baby girl. Don't ever change for any reason. No, because you know what? We fell in love with each other for how we are right now. And so... That we did, baby girl. Yeah. And so... And you know what I do like? I never told you this. I love having my hair played with. Or if I can't sleep, oh. we're both insomniacs. Yes. I love having my hair played with, like, or just yeah. brushed or just running your fingers through my yeah. hair. I love that as well, actually. There were times where even back when, before, I guess, Timothy came, I would mm-hmm. lay beside Shonda and ask her to play with my hair just because, you know, it was something that felt nice. It, it was yeah. so relaxing. I never even understood why. It, it didn't even have to be Let her, on. right? Yeah, I remember at one point I had my hair long enough where you know Gabriel was fiddle with it. Of course, I think he did kind of tie several knots in my hair, but you know. You just said his name. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's, we it's already out baby. there. It's out there already. It is. But, you know. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. But you're but, talking about something happy. It's a happy yep. thing. I remember so, so he, <laughs> my stepmother would do something like that, you know. She'd twirl her hair between her finger, and it's just, you know, she'd do that, and it was something she would do to cope. I had this period yeah. where I'd put my hands on top of my head and just sort of run them through my hair. Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of you weird, know? different things happen as well. I remember I had this one period where I freaking put my hands under my stomach like I was a fucking pregnant woman. I was, I don't even understand. Looking back, it's like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> yeah, I want to know everything about you. Tell me all these yeah. things. I want to know all your quirks. I want to know everything. Um, let me think. Like, tell me what made you think that people thought you were weird. Uh, Well, when I was in elementary school, I had a problem with being a gold digger. And there was a lot of times that, you know, I was the new kid. I mean, up until about high school or so, well, yeah, pretty much high school. Eighth grade was iffy, but until high school, there wasn't really ever a time where I had a single full year in a single school. Since I started public school partway through second grade. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, with... Okay, I just want to hear about your life and everything. I don't want to think yeah. about just this one bad thing. Yep. I want to know, like, your life, you know, and so, who you are. Yep. Like, as a little kid and growing up and, uh, you know. As a little kid, I could be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How? However, Give me an example. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Instead of taking a nap like everyone else during the time where we were supposed to when my dad and Shonda were still together, 
I'd go into the bathroom in you know, my older brother's room and climb out the window and go play in the backyard. That's so cute. <laughs> I just, I guess the insomnia kind of affected it because of, uh, you know, if I would, if I had took that nap, the thing was, I wouldn't sleep at night. That's one of the reasons I try not to fall asleep between lunch and lockdown now. Because if I do, uh, it's going to affect my sleep schedule in the night. Yeah, that's but, to me too, babe. Um, let me think. So, like, okay, so, like, you said that you had, like, that one relationship, right? So, yeah. yeah. So, what was that relationship? Like, how long were you with her? Uh, eight weeks, which, according to my sister, was about twice as long as her other relationships ever lasted. So what was it like? Were you able to talk to her like we talk? Like, I mean, like, what was the dynamic? No. I mean, mainly it was just, you know, we'd eat breakfast together, and then we'd go sit in front of my uh, first hour class, my homeroom, I guess, and cuddle, but that was about the gist of it. You know, walk there holding hands. Nothing really ever intimate. Yeah. No, it's definitely nothing like the talk between you and me that we have. <laughs> Not just, uh, you know, intimate points, but the lesser so as well. It was, it's just, I wouldn't say that it was that she wanted to know about me or you know, get to know me and love me. It was that, I don't know, she just wanted someone to be there for her for who knows what reason. Well, it has to work both ways, though. Like, I I am exactly. so curious to know about you and, you know, for time as it rolls down, you know, to, like, learn more and more about you. Um, You know, like, do you have any triggers, like, things that are triggers to you that would be good for me to know? Like, like for example, with you and me, you know, I do have triggers. You know, like, I'm as you see, I'm very insecure. Um, yeah. And it's not because, have, and it's not because, I have because, insecurities you know, as well. You, uh, okay. I'll be honest. When I was a kid, I had fisherman's patience. You know, the patience of a fisherman who can sit there for hours on end waiting for a bite. Nowadays, I have problems with it. I would I would say that you know, I've learned a bit more patience, but because you have to be patient for the tablets to come on. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not a patient person. Like I can't, I'm not being patient about seeing you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you know what I mean? It's crazy. As ironic as it may seem, because you know I was a liar way back when. I don't like being lied to. I would never lie to you. Yep. Uh, I've been lied to before, and let's just say, was when I find out, it's I don't physically get violent, but I do get. Very angry. I have before. I know that you would never give me any reason to. You'd never lie to me. I trust you. Baby. I would never lie to you. I promise you. And I believe you, know, you. I do. Like I said, you're my best friend too. You're not just like my my man. Yep. You're like my best friend. So like, yep. you know, and that's what we have to always maintain. That's why relationships get broken because people lose that. They lose that friendship. They lose that camaraderie, you know, and as yeah. long as you don't, then it's, then it's golden. You know, to me, that's, yeah. the, that was always like when people would say to me, like, what is your vision of, you know, like the perfect relationship? And I, I would always tell my friends, you know, to me, it's about just simplicity, you know, being best friends with the person that you love and not having to worry. Like basically like, for example, say you were not incarcerated or when you get out, um, Anything that I do, I'd want you to be there with me. And some people would say yeah. that that's a clingy thing, but I don't look at it as a clingy thing. I yeah. look at it as you're my best friend, and I love you, and I want you to do everything that I'm doing with me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, like that's an example, I guess, of something that I could give you an example of, of like complaints that I had from guys that I was with in my past. I, I've had uh, oh, well, I've had female know? friends who, well, when I was in elementary school, I didn't have a lot of friends or people that I could consider friends or considered me friends but when I did get friends I had a tendency to cling because I was afraid to lose that friendship and relationship with them you know yes and exactly 
at one point I had this friendship with this girl and obviously the clinginess freaked her out. And okay. I remember at one point, a year, like um, over a year later, uh, I was walking to lunch and came across her. She didn't notice me at first, but then she looked up and said, go away, Paul. And I don't know if it was defense or what, but she kind of kicked me there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, I was in fifth grade, so uh, my pain tolerance was nowhere near as high as it is now. It's just like, oh, oh my God. Oh, no, I would never kick you there. No matter how I was mad at you, if I was mad at you, I would never do that. I trust that you'd I wanted... uh, kick another guy there if he tried to hurt me or you. I know I oh, would. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's funny. It's like, and I sit here and I think, how do I have the right to even be jealous because of anything? Because it's got to be worse for you because I'm out in the real world and you're there. So I have. that's how I kind of calm myself or soothe myself. Like when I feel insecure or wonder, oh, my God, are these girls going to just start, like, writing him? And is he going to, like, have, like, ten of me in his life? Like, I have to remind myself that. Like, that I'm sure yeah. I'm not probably the only one that worries, you know? Yeah. Um, you don't have to worry, baby girl. I promise you. So if a girl were to, like, write to you just a random girl and she was, like, trying to, like, be all, like, you know, whatever with you, would you tell her that you have somebody? Definitely. I bet the boundary would go. Wouldn't do the same with someone even if they were my age? Well, how did you set the boundary? Like, how did you, in your mind, Um, set the boundary? I literally texted her and told her, hey, this is what's going on. And she clarified... Yeah, I don't think of you that way. You know, I asked her, could you tell your daughter about this as well, just in case? No, because I didn't know how her daughter felt. And that's when she yeah. told me her daughter was gay. So I was like, all right, yeah, that's, that's good to know. You know it, the, the main thing in my mind wasn't release that, you know, I didn't have to worry about them trying to take me from you. It was that you wouldn't have to worry about it. You yeah. wouldn't have to worry about them trying to take the man you love and that was more of a sense of relief than if I was worried more. You know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want anybody. You have one minute left. Me. No one will. I promise, baby girl. Oh, I, I really hate this thing. I know. Me too. I hate how we, it's so dumb because if it's prepaid, like, why do we have to keep hanging up and calling back? Right. Um, how right? much do these calls cost per? Well, full call. 21 cents per minute. 21 cents per minute. Uh, and then I spend I spend $40 on 400 text messages. Nice. So we got a while to <laughs> talk and text. <laughs> of course, yeah. it's, it's funny how short the texts last with uh, how much we talk. I know. Well, it's because I'm trying to save them. Like, a lot of times I'll want to just keep texting and texting and texting, and I'm like put another 40 something dollars on there you know and I'm like I gotta save fact, money right? so I can go be with him <laughs> that's why I didn't buy new stamps to send you the pictures Thank of any of the ring because oh, goodbye oh, hello this is a prepaid collect call from yes yes I'm all yours baby I am all yours forever forever and ever and ever till death do us part and you said last night by the way too that we could talk a little bit about that did you didn't and I was thinking, I'm like, people I know already think we're crazy, so that's why I came up with the fall, because I was like, that six months of me getting ready to to, to move and figure out where you're going to be, and because I don't want to marry you, yeah. and then have yeah, to leave the uh, What do you we'll think? see if we can, I, I like it, it's perfect. I want us to get it us, together. We could actually get uh, married out in like the outer area of the prison in the brisk autumn air. Be so yeah. romantic! Oh my God, it's gonna be so beautiful. I hope that you marry me. I want to marry you. Mm. I want to marry you. I do, and I don't care if people. I mean, it's funny how people are having all these like comparisons to these weird people. Somebody did say Bonnie and Clyde um, that we're gonna be the next Bonnie and Clyde, and somebody also made a reference to that movie I told you about, um, Natural let's, Born uh, Killers. Let's not uh, let's not focus on them right now, baby. 
Because you know what? All those people, they may have been criminals, but they loved each other. in love. Yeah. They loved each other. I know that once all this is over with, so I'm going to do my best to stay clean. I can't. You're going to be fine. You're gonna, if I'm by your side, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah. Because life is short. I hope that and every night before you fall asleep, you ma- you ma- imagine me. Com- you ma- oh, sorry. You imagine me wrapping my arm around you and you know, this night kiss, telling you how much I love you. You know what I did? If you want to know what? how crazy I am, I I took every picture, all my favorite pictures of you, off of everything I could find. And I made a photo album on my phone. So what I do is when I go to bed at night, I open it up and I put my phone next to me. And it's made me cry, but I do it so I can, like, look at you and pretend that you're there. You know? Uh, so you have some... So in some of the videos, I know that I'm bare-chested. And yes. yes, I have a rather <laughs> smooth chest. Not much hair there. I love your chest. I love it all. See, I'm crying right now because I just... I just, I just want to have you with me. I don't like this. I don't like that. I know, you have girl. to be there. I know. You know, and it's like we just had like a really intimate moment in my mind because I visualized and felt every part of it. And yeah. I'm supposed to be in your arms right now, and I just want to be with you, and I can't, and I hate it. Yeah, so I hate you don't it. have a problem with my me having hair around me, do you? No, I don't care about any of that. None of that stuff matters. I'm just. I love you. Sure. I don't want to do anything that would have anything that would be a turn off for you. There's nothing that could be a turn off. The only thing that could be a turn off for me is if you didn't shower. <laughs> that would be about it. I shower. <laughs> I promise. As long as you take a shower, baby, you're good. Um, yeah, I'm really emotional right now. I, I don't want to wait. I want to just be there with you now. I want to be your wife already. I know. I want to be your husband. You know, and to actually... I want to tell all the guys who want to try and be with you so that they can go <laughs> themselves. Just make sure that you don't show my picture to too many people because I don't want people to be there. That would be gross. Imagine yep. that if, like, one of your bunkies was like, can you show them my picture? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's not a physical picture and they can't snatch it from me. That's, that's a relief. That's better. That's true. That is true. And are you able to take those pictures when you go to prison? Uh, I don't think I can, as much as I hate it. Well, I'm going to send you, I'm going to make you photo albums of me. If you can get, like, gifts and stuff like that, I'm going to send you everything. It's going to be like, I'm I'm there with you. Yeah. Um, and I will be there with you. And yeah. I hopefully in the prison still allow, you in know. In person, it, yeah. In person every day. I want to yeah. see you. Yeah. Even if all I can do is hold your hand. I just want to. I want to hold your hand. I want to... Nick, if I behave good enough, now let us kiss. Yes. <laughs> I just I just want to be with you, and it's making me sad. Every day that we talk, I fall in love with you more. Yeah. Baby, you. Baby, wipe away your tears, okay? Yeah. Remember, yes. any time you feel sad, just close your eyes. Feel me with you, okay? Feel my energy. I'm there with you. Always. It's and it's so... It's so... Mind. It's and so it magnetic. I could feel the pull, you know? I could feel the pull. It's so magnetic and it's like driving me insane because I just I just want to be with you and if I even like I said if you're in jail till the day that you die, I will be there every step of the way and we will make it work and you will be loved above all else. Um even if we can't have sex, like you will be loved. And uh my hope Love is that'll so be much, baby girl. I, can't I love you too. To see you. I can't wait to see you either. I would be already booking a flight, but we just don't know what's happening yet. I know. It sucks. I, I want to know where you're going to be. I I will be there as soon as I know that I that you know where you're going and all that. I'm going to come down there. Like uh, and hopefully so, we'll be soon. Real quick, <laughs> I did talk to Joe, and unfortunately, she's not willing to let you stay there. I'm I'm sorry. I tried, <laughs> but. Baby, it's okay. I'm I'm okay. I am your girl, and I'm. I even so ordered a ring. Girl. I wore a ring so that people will leave me alone. Um, so I'll, I'll, I bought two, but you're gonna pick it out, and it's gonna be my engagement ring. But I bought two because I want you to still feel like you picked it out. So once I get them, you can tell me yep. which one it is. <laughs> and maybe you know, 
you could keep the other one for me as a wedding ring if we can get those two. Oh, I already I already picked out your wedding bed. I just need to know your ring size. But you know, yeah, I already know what your ring is. Um I can probably so get that uh measured in the joint. Yeah. I love you. I love you. You know I that love right? you so I love much. You. And uh, we've got this we've got to see you and hold your hand and hold you. I swear as soon as you get transferred, as soon, it could be like next week and I will be there. I'm gonna fly yeah. there. I'm gonna, I know that I don't know Jackson how far is the quarantine area, so you know, I'll be there for about a month, but the moment that I'm out of there, you will be the first person to know baby girl. I promise you. So, like, do you have to give the the context of who you want to be there and all that kind of stuff? Like, who, how does who's that allowed work? to visit me and whatnot? Yes, and like I said, you will be first on my list. Yay! <laughs> wow, I'm going to be first on Paul's list. Oh my god, <laughs> you make me feel like alive again. You have no idea. I was so dead inside before you. Huh. I was. I was dead inside. My whole life was just so bad. Hey, hey, hey. let's let's not focus on the past, okay? No, and we can change I should, it, but we can forge our future, okay? We're going to create a future together. We can't change our past. I know both of us, we can't, but we're going to we're going to make it work no matter what because I'm not going to lose you. Even if that means I have to sacrifice being able to make love to you, I'm still I'm still going to stay with you. I'm not going to leave you. I promise. I'll never leave. I love you, baby girl, so much. Mwah. I love you too. Mwah. I wish I could kiss you. I want oh, you to lean down and kiss me. You look so cute because you're so tall. So you have to like really bend down to kiss me. It's cute. <laughs> I'm like your little country girl. <laughs> start off huh? slow. I'd cup your face and start off slow with the kissing. Wouldn't get too intimate just too quickly. I would love to feel your hands on my face. <laughs> Your skin looks want so soft. I thought it should. I just... We're really doing this? Are we really going to do this? Like, really? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes? yes. For sure? Yeah? Absolutely. I know. Okay, good. And I just get nervous sometimes when you say that if you change your mind, you'll tell me. I just pray that that doesn't happen because if I know that this... I promise you that if something happens, it may me change my mind, which the likelihood is almost zero. Okay, good. Please say negative 10. <laughs> negative 10. I will tell you if that happens, but I doubt that it will. I strongly, strongly doubt because I love you so, so much, baby girl. And I'm not going to change. If anything, I'm just going to love you I more. I will ask you to change for the world. And I don't want you to change either. I want you to be you. You know, I there, there was one interview. I don't know if it was that guy who played news from HBO, and you said that you felt like you never fit in and you know, that you felt different and just different things that you said. And, you know, and I'm thinking about all that. And I'm like, he's totally normal for me. He's my soulmate. He's my soulmate because yeah. he feels the way he feels about himself. But I look at you as the most amazing man I've ever, well, I can't say met, but spoken to. And you, the way you, you talk to me, you tell me that I'm beautiful and all of these amazing things. And I feel like right. I'm the luckiest woman. In the world. When it comes to, to women, I would never say anything about them that isn't true. Like Shonda, she's a bitch that needs to go die. I know, I know. And and she will, she's going to be alone. She's not going to have love like you have. I get the feeling that there may be an inmate at whatever prison she's at right now that at some point or another, because they ain't got nothing to lose because they're, at li- they're in there for life too, somebody's going to stick her. Oh, she's she's going down. Absolutely. Something. And if, if it's they not keep her, thicker, they're going to beat the piss out of her. If she's not in isolation, she will be killed. And that's why And I don't want to have to worry about you. You need to be I know, separated. I know, baby girl. I promise you the moment that I get transferred, quarantine and beyond, I will make sure they have my phone I'm number, please. Give them yep. my phone number so that if anything ever happened to you, Anything. I'm not saying that, you know, you're getting killed, but, like, anything that, like, I know. Um, I know I'll have more rights once I'm married to you, because then they'll, they have to tell me everything, but... Yeah. um, Yeah. But, yeah, like, make sure that that's somehow possible. I don't know if they give emergency contacts in jail, but if they do, please make sure that I'm the one that you 
give because if there's anything, I will fly there no matter what if I have to. Yep. I will, I'll be honest, I will also likely put my brother as an emergency contact. Of course. Well, absolutely. But second to you, I promise you, girl. My beautiful wife. My sexy handsome. I know. So, like, what color would you want me to wear? A white gown? Do you want to do something crazy and wear different colors? Like, what what would you think? What what is your envision for a wedding? What would, uh, do you think a sapphire blue dress would look good on you? Um, you know, actually, I do have a sapphire blue shirt that I have, and it looks good, yeah. Um, well, I'll wear whatever get, color you want. Yeah, if you could get something like that, I'd absolutely love you it. You have one minute what left. About, uh, no. Paul, no. oh, I don't want you to go. Don't go. No, baby. I don't want to go either. I don't want to go. I want you to stay on the phone with me. I, this is horrible. Like, we got to we gotta do this. Um, mm-hmm. I want to marry you like as soon as we can get married. Because yep. then this won't happen anymore, and I'll be there. Um, yep. this sucks. This fucking sucks. I know you probably can't call me back. It's already past your normal time. Yeah. Um, uh, so hopefully you can up the text a little bit more because obviously we're going to have at least another week or so. If not more. But I love you, baby. I love, I love you too, baby girl. I'm in right. you, and as soon as Tal has come back on, I'll text you. Okay, and I think I already did um, up the text. Um, if I didn't, I will. Now that I know that you're staying there, I, that's what I was saying last night. I didn't Thank know. Thank you for was, using Secure. Goodbye. Baby. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... Paul Hang on, baby. Okay. And, um, hey, and then wrap that in my towel. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I had to give instructions to someone who was making my noodle for me. Cool. No, it's okay because after after this fifteen minutes, you should probably go. I got to get up at four thirty to get ready oh, for work. That's right. I'll still text with you while I'm in the house and getting yeah. ready for bed and everything. Yeah. When do but, I um, do I get to talk to you tomorrow or no? Uh, I we're out in the morning tomorrow. If you can find some time then. Yeah, because on Sundays my bosses never come in and it's quiet. Gotcha. If I have you on the, I can even just put you next to me. You can hear me working. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's like I'm doing that, anything. That, that'll be if I can, you know, wake up before. Well, uh, even if even if you can, I get up, I get out at three. Like if I know, like say for example, well, no, you can't go on the phone at three, can you? No, not at not at three, and not after lunch, dinner either, because I saw them tears the night out. Mm-hmm. I know, hey. baby girl. I know this thirty-hour lockdown, as they call it, sucks. It's basically the guard's way of saying. Fuck you all. We want to be lazy and not do anything that, that we're supposed to. Or, so what happens when the lockdown happens? Like, do they let you keep the lights on, or does everything just go dark? Uh, like lockdown at night? Yeah. Uh, they. So when everyone's in their room, it's not completely dark, but they turn our lights off for the most part. I'd say only a single one of our uh, bulbs in our thing is still lit. So basically, okay. we're never submerged in total darkness, which would actually be kind of nice because uh, the partial darkness oh. sucks more than the, than total darkness. Yeah, how do you like to sleep? Do you like to sleep with the light on or off usually? Uh, or I normally off. sleep with it off, and yeah, no TV. <laughs> I can't do very much noise in the background. Me neither. But, It'll just be us in each other's arms. Yeah. Normally, once I'm asleep, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Um, if Although, I, I do at- know that uh, in the morning, if I wake up, I can't go back to sleep normally. I can do so here after lunch, or uh, not lunch, uh, breakfast at four in the morning, but you know, I guess that's because it's early and whatnot. That's really early for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, my God. What kind of breakfast do they give you? Uh, either a peanut butter and jelly or um, eggs. Normally it has, let's see, the peanut butter and jelly or the eggs, which are the mains. Okay. Cereal. Um, 
a piece of some sort of cake or I know that with the eggs it comes with a piece of what we call choke bread. Choke bread? I don't even I don't even know how to describe it. It's <laughs> the dry for the most part, always dry. <laughs> um dry. but anywho. Um the eggs are cold, I never eat them. And the last thing we get is a cup of milk. But the thing is, it's not real milk. It's powdered milk. Ew! What is that? Exactly. It, 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 sometimes, if there's enough powdered milk mixed in, it actually kind of tastes like milk. Other <laughs> times, it tastes more watery. But sometimes, because they don't properly wash the cups or rinse them out, I guess, you can still okay. taste soap. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I, need to I know at one point in here, they actually, we had this thing, it looks really good. But okay. almost every single person in the pod, at least, took one bite and said, no. Because it tasted like they had literally taken a bottle of Dawn dish soap and just really drizzled it all inside of the pot while they were cooking it. It was, ugh. Did they give you guys other stuff? Did they like, give us did they trays? actually? No. They yeah. Give us new trays. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah. It's like there treating you guys time. like you're like... Yeah, they treat us like we're animals. I get it. There was another time where they gave us this rice dish that okay. practically no one ate because it tasted like dirt. I'm not really? A one bite was all I took, and I spit it back out. It's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, never again. No. I'm driving. Oh. Right now I'm talking to you. No, so, um, no. So so they give you, and then, like, what kind of, like, dinner stuff do they have? And is um, it anything ever? Let's see. There's a lot of uh, stuff with soy pellets. Like, it's basically supposed to be meat of a sort, but it's not. A lot of people in here call it, call it rat's tail because it does literally look like they cut off a rat, like chunks of a rat's tail. It doesn't have hair, but it's just, yeah. And it's just, I mean, there are days where, like today, we got hot dogs and pretzels for dinner. There's always, oh, that's cool. you know, that. There's um, grains, which is normally either choke bread or regular bread. Okay. Um, there's so, always yeah. a cake on our cake of some sort on our tray and vegetables, you know, green beans. I would just ask for all cake. <laughs> well, that's because they give you vegetables. So yeah. do you like vegetables or no? Uh, so so. I'd say I'm more into the stuff that's out of a can than this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, and um, and I don't yeah, like that... the carrots steamed. I like them, you know, out of the bag, dipped in ranch. Oh, that sounds good. That's it's so funny because like that's like one of the only ways I'll eat carrot. Yep. I've also had you know? some weird um, food combinations. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. That one's pretty good. Really? Ew! It sounds so gross. It's it's no. like a combination of like chewy and crunchy, and sweet and sour. You know. What made you have, was, was it the butter pickles or, like, the regular pickles? Dill, like, dill pickles. Just regular dill pickles. Sandwich, with, sandwich, with peanut butter. sandwich cut dill pickles and peanut butter on bread. Yeah. Of course, you have to spread the peanut butter on both slices to make a sort of barrier because if you don't, the pickle juice is going to make the bread all soggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun that way, Oh, my God. So this is good. Really Weird shit with sandwiches, though. I've taken peanut butter and jelly and added in bologna okay. cheese or spam and cheese or just bologna <laughs> and spam and, or just cheese. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're crazy. So, like, you'll eat anything. So, like, if I were to for you, I don't have to worry about you eat almost anything. Do you like seafood or no? Very much so. <laughs> yeah? Do you like seafood? That's seafood, good. Shrimp, um crab. Uh, lobster. I haven't had a lot of that, but you know. You know, I like I like shrimp a lot. Um, I salmon? like scallop. Oh, my dad used I've, to make the I've, best salmon. 
you know, I've never had that. I only oh, actually that's a lie. I had it one time at a wedding and it was really chewy and kind yeah. of cold, so like yeah, well, I didn't like it. It's very clear that however they made it, they didn't make it the right way. The way that's what everybody tells me. He 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 took like one of those bigger fillets and he like he'll, he'll okay. have it on a tin foil and he'll wrap it. Before he does, he'll sprinkle it with like lemon pepper and a little bit of okay. juice. Mm. Like just in there to like zest it up, and then he'll bake that's... it for a while. Okay, and so that sounds so, kind of good. Yes, it is amazing. Uh, I kid you not. I, okay, my siblings didn't eat the skin of the salmon. You know that stuff that's usually with there underneath. They pick off yeah, the yeah. other stuff that's on top and eat that. You know, now, how come? What is the reasoning behind skin? That? I don't know. I like skin. The thing is, out of all the parts of the salmon, it soaked up okay. most of that lemony, zesty flavor. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You're so cute, baby. I love you. I love you so much. You're so cute. Uh, so, I, so I myself don't know how to make it, unfortunately. I can try. I can you cook? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty skilled at creating things when it comes to ramen. I took oh, I love ramen. Beef, <laughs> beef or chicken ramen, add like mm-hmm. a bit of lemon pepper and a little bit of garlic salt. Okay, well, I'm going to let you cook too then. You know that, right? Yep. And some butter in there too. And you know, mix it up. And you got this, like, lemony, zesty... It, it goes better with chicken than it does with beef. This lemony, zesty, yeah, sort yeah. of garlic ramen. It's, and then with... What also goes good with either the beef or the chicken is using... I think it's... I can't remember the exact measurement. It's annoying. But it's like a tablespoon or so of the taco seasoning. Mixing it in okay. with the actual seasoning. Throwing in a little bit of, a bit of garlic salt as well. Just a little bit. Okay. And, you know, mixing that up in there too, mixing that in with the um, ramen. Oh, baby, can we do this tomorrow? Let's pretend like that I get to see you tomorrow when we come home. For, I want you to make that for dinner tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, I will cook anything fun. for you as long as I know how. Yeah, and I can teach you how to cook certain things too. Because I'm some my nationalities, by the way. I don't know my exact lineage, but I know I'm part German and part uh, Scottish or Irish. One or the other. Dude. As my dad used to <laughs> say, we we run around trying to rule the world in a guilt. So I was just going to say, if, if your mother was the German one, <laughs> that's the total <laughs> reasoning for everything that fucking that happened. Because it. <laughs> the Germans exact are opposite both. of the Aryan race. Oh, my gosh. Because my brother, Timothy, was an exact image of the Aryan race. Blonde hair, blue eyes. It, it, it must be hard for you. You know what? Because I, I don't care what people say. I know that you have to have loved your brother. And even though you said yeah. that you didn't feel you loved him enough, I mean, it's still your brother. That was your blood. Yeah. I did, um, I, maybe, it didn't, maybe I didn't feel like I loved him, but deep down... You can always be angry with a sibling. You can be frustrated. You can be just so beyond done. But deep down, you know, you still love them. You still care about them. Well, like I said, you know, times when I wanted to pull my fucking hair out, <laughs> even still, um, yeah. it's not easy. And I was, I was a single mom, you know? So, like, mm-hmm. I understand that. But like I said, that never should have been your burden. It, it shouldn't yeah. have, and it's not that I'm saying that your brother's your burden, but like that's something that an adult needs to take care of. That's yeah. like, let's be straight up, you know. Yeah. Um, and um, and I love you, and I don't care if the rest of the world hates you. I love you, and you're my man, you're my angel, and oh. I can be happier that you're in my life and that you put your light into my life and take me out of the darkness. Um. Because I didn't I'll think I'd ever come out of it. I promise you, the girl, I'll always be here. Yeah, and I just, and I believe you. That's the thing, I actually believe it. Like, I never believed it, but I believe it with you. And I'm I getting sad because I know you're not that words girl. that I would ever take lightly. I've never once said I, I love you to a girl. 
And you actually told somebody that we're engaged. You did. Of course I did. <laughs> I would say I'm so it was a minor slip up and maybe not the best uh, <laughs> judgment <laughs> or time, but yes, I told you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Well, I know that you got you have to eat your food, so I'm gonna. I don't really got a minute left, but I love you so much, baby. I do. I, I love, love you, you so much, baby girl. If it's okay, maybe yeah. I could send you one of my recipes of a sort to try. I still have some of your return stamps on your e-messages. Oh, good. Yeah, definitely. That would be cool. Can you send me? Like, yeah, I don't know what you can send me uh, with that stuff, but I've got something that I think you might like if you like spam. Do you have a picture of you that you can send me? Uh, no. I wish I did, baby girl. I'd send it to you in a heartbeat, <laughs> but I love you, and I miss you. I love you, too. I, I love you, and you, I both... Baby girl. Can I text you tonight, or no? Of course. You can always text me. Okay, baby. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay, baby girl. Okay, good night. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... It must be love if I can memorize your phone number so quickly. Oh, you remember it? That's so cool. Yes, I, I memorized it like just two days ago or so. And have it Good. Well, then yeah. you have no excuse not to contact me when you get transferred. If you disappear on me, you're going to break my heart. So please don't do that. I know. Baby. Okay. I promise you like, I won't. Like if you ever do change your mind about me, just tell me the truth. Don't ever just like disappear. Because I have severe, severe abandonment issues, and if, if, that would, like, devastate if, me. If, and that's a big if, that happens, I promise you I will let you know. Okay. But unless that happens, you have my heart forever. Okay, baby girl. Okay, good. Because I want to be able to feel safe. I've never felt safe with someone before. I'm always waiting for somebody to leave or walk away. Yeah. Or... And I'll tell you this. If something happens, it's breaks us apart. I want you to know that it will never be because of you. It'll probably be because of something with me, okay? Like, what do you mean? Like, what could that be I, like? I don't, I don't know. I just... Don't I don't want to leave you heartbroken and hurting if, it, if that ever happens, but I don't want that to happen either, okay? I love you so much, baby girl. I love you too, and I hope it doesn't change. I don't want you to change how you feel. You know... It's like you're the first person that, like, after you're you the first me person like, to ever understand oh, me like this. To ever I do have this you. feeling settle over me every time I talk to you or think of you, this calm peace. You know, I wish you were in my arms so I could just hold you. We wouldn't even have to talk. Like I said, we would, the emotions <laughs> itself would be everything. We don't need words for it. I can't put how I feel for you in words. It's something yeah. strange that happened the fast. Words are inadequate for our love. Yes, exactly. And that's probably why you never had a successful relationship and why I was always treated very badly. Because we both have really, really big hearts. And maybe it's too intense for some people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I get it. But loving you means that it's, it's forever. And if it breaks up, it'll be because of you, not because of me. Unless you do something really weird, like if I heard a recording of you flirting with somebody else or something crazy like that, then I would feel completely and utterly betrayed. Um, yeah. As I said, I have female friends that I talk to in here, but none of them are like you. None of them are interested in me, and, and none of them have my interest. Okay, good. Well, hopefully it stays that way. I don't want it to ever change, you know? I know. So you said uh, after this call, you'll go for that drive? Yes. So, yeah, after this one, I will. Um, so, no, I wanted to talk to you for this conversation really quick about all of that stuff that we were saying about narcissism and stuff like that. I'm not going to say anything to you a hundred times. I love you. Um, and I'm not going to be what anybody thinks that I possibly could be. I mean, look at the shit that I've been through. I mean, this is like yeah. movie stuff, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> it really is. All right, so let me get my um, shoes on, and I'm going to go down to my car, and okay. um, then I will text you. So wait for me to text you so you don't waste any minutes or anything, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you for using Securus. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Paul Ferguson. Hello, darling. Hi. I have my phone in my right hand, so if anybody tries to walk by and talk to me, you'll see him on the phone. 
So <laughs> and doing it backwards. Backwards. You know, when I go I'll always up, be here thinking of you, sending you positive thoughts. I wish I could send you hoping present. for your safety. I know. I'd say about the only present that can be sent is commissary, but if you ask me, I think I can fill it's myself up way better with words. <laughs> talking to you is more than enough, baby girl. I know. I love you. I, I, love you. I want to see you really, really soon. I can't handle like this being far away. <laughs> I don't want that. I know, baby. You know? As soon so, as I'm transferred, I will let you know. You know I will. And so, how have you told anybody else? Does that lady know? The grandma lady? Uh, like, no, does she know that like we're yet. together? Or does she, she knows friends? we're together, yes. Okay. All right. So, okay, cool. I didn't know how secretive you're being, so that's what I'm asking. Because I don't ever want to post anything online and then, like, have somebody come back to you and be like, what is this girl talking about, you know? Yeah. So, like, if you tell me not to post anything about certain things, then I won't, you know? So, you, is there anything you don't want me to say? <laughs> uh, like, what do you mean? Like, because I know that there's things that we talk about, you know, whether it be our relationship or whatever, um, that you wouldn't want me to post publicly online. Uh, not that I can think of right now. If I do think of something, I will let you know. All right, baby girl. Yeah, you have such a sweet voice, you know that? Yeah. You do, you have such a sweet voice. <laughs> it's sweet, but sexy. <laughs> it's a good combo. A very good combo. So now you um, just basically now that you're going to be off the phone, just is that when you start playing your video games, or do they take that away now too? Uh, at eleven, all apps shut off, so there's really nothing I can do except sit and wait for one o'clock to roll around. So you just literally sit there. Yeah, pretty much. Or you know, sometimes watch TV if there's something that catches my interest, which never really does anymore. And you can't listen to music, like you said, really, so that sucks. They have a radio on there, but, you know, can't really, not really a lot of music that I prefer. You made me cry last night. You sang to me. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And then, you know what I did when I first woke up? When I first woke up, I got my cup of coffee, like I always do. And then I listened to that song, so I would start my day that way. And I was... was, I'll sing the song to you every day if you'd like me to grow. Yeah, and you sing really good. I thought you were messing with me, but you do. You have a really good voice. Mm-hmm. You do. I love I, it. Um, uh, I, when I first started the chorus, I was put in the baritone section. Mm-hmm. You know, the middle of the uh, tones, I suppose you could say. But yeah. by the end of the year, I was... <clears throat> I was a bass. You were a bass. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I can hit the, the lower notes a lot better without getting too much of the um, <clears throat> rumble effect yeah. on my voice. This sucks. Um, the time is it? Okay. Good. We still have a few minutes. We have like nine minutes. But anyway, I'm just being quieter just because it's getting quieter out there. I don't want people hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Especially about um, the S stuff, you know? Yeah. That's that's for your and my ears only, girl. Do you really think that your bunkie doesn't know what you're asking that question for? I would think he would. I don't think he does, no. He didn't like, give me any <laughs> sort of funky looks or anything. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't believe you got away with thinking what you did. And, yeah. Be yeah. with you. I know. These people are just taking too long, you know. Mm-hmm. And I found towns that um, Choice Hotels are in out there. But I don't know where the heck they are. Like, what part of Michigan are you in? Are you in northern Michigan? Like, where are you? Uh, to be honest, I don't know the exacts. Like, are you far from where you used to live there? Um, or is it all in the same area? Possibly. Maybe, maybe yeah. not, to be honest. Hmm. Wait, hold on a second. Let me see if some people are Okay, they're talking to each other, not me. Okay. Um. Yeah. What were you saying? I forgot. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just love you. 
I love you too, baby girl. Well, I'm hoping that guy leaves me alone now, because I walked literally, like, right by him, like, right next to him. Yep. I didn't even look at him. Did I go wide at all? I didn't even look at him. I just acted like he wasn't even there. See, that's, that's how girl. I am. That's my girl. I'm a your girl, only yours. And, um, yeah, I don't have eyes for anybody else. They don't get to listen to my green eyes when you do. So, that's that. <laughs> Did you know that the North Carolina State Jazz is actually an emerald? Is it what? Emerald. Is it really? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. You were born here. That's so crazy. You were born yeah. in Charlotte. That's wild because that's where I first came to. You know, I mean, there's so many ironies and synchronicities. It's it's it's, it's baffling. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you feel like that too, but like the more that we talk and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. It's like, there's more and more and more and it shows me this big, this big plan that was derived from a higher power. Sorry. And I like it. Okay. Oh, you're just, you're just gonna, like, like, you? Okay, is somebody there? Yep, I'm being careful though, don't worry. Okay, okay. now he's walking away. He wasn't it, it, it's cop? the dude who's, uh, Got a sanity screw down by a single rusty screw. What does he have? He has a what? Pretty sure he's got a sanity screw down by a single rusty screw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Hold on. The guy that woke me up this morning. Uh, hold on. Let me just walk out of here for a second. Here you go. Okay. Sorry. Um, but anyway. I hate when people do that shit. I'm getting hot. Hold on. Let's go back to the room for a second. Okay. So anyway, you see me in the house. Hold on. So you think that tomorrow you'll be able to be in your office alone for some time? Be where, honey? In your office alone for some time so we can. Oh yeah. When I don't work daytime, it's awesome because during the day. Um, but then when I'm working at night, like. The boss, if he's here or if she's here, they, like, might be here till, like, five. I swear to God, that fucking kid is following me right now. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's easy for me to talk tomorrow. And, yeah, because I come in at three, and then your phone time, we said, is, what, five or six or uh, something? Yep. Uh, so once that happens. We can talk and then, all night. So I'm excited. But I promise I will text you tonight. I have to get more texts, I think, on my thing. Um, it's so stupid. Like, why do we have to pay to, like, love each other? Like, you know? Uh, who knows? I've heard in, uh, prison they have Facebook, though. So, that might make it easier. Facebook? Possibly. You don't want to go on your page. There's no, a lot of I'll probably, like I said, I'm probably going to go on the, you know, the new one. Yeah, make a new page. Make a new page. Um... Like I said, if I had access, I would delete it for you. So I don't want you reading everything on there. Yeah, I'm not even um, going to bother with it. Yeah. Honestly, I hate the internet. Like, once I can be with you, I'm not even going to have the internet at all. Like, I don't even go on it really now. Like, I go on there just to, like, see what my friends are up to. Like I said, I don't have strangers on my page. Like, none. Yeah. Like, everyone that's on my page are just, like, my friends or, like, a couple of cousins I still talk to. That's it. Yeah. You know. Uh, Promise me you'll think about me today. You know I will, baby girl. I think about you all day, all night. I think about you from the second I wake up until the second I go to sleep. And then in my dreams, I meet you. So we're always together. I'll probably take a shower at night. <laughs> you in there with me. I wish you could take me in there with the phone. <laughs> I know. So do I. So that Because every, every state is different. As far you as have one minute left. No. Ah, there it is. Oh, no. There's right. bitch. Oh, fuck, no. I don't know. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'll Why always be thinking of you. I'll always be here. Okay? I love you. I love What's you up? too, baby girl. Well, I want to be all sad now. I don't want to be all sad. <sighs> so, so, okay, so... Just close your eyes and imagine I'm hugging you, okay, baby girl? Hugging I... you and kissing you. Protecting all right, you. Baby. I love you. Okay, and um, I'll talk to you later on. Yep, I'll text you right, as soon as tablets come on. Okay.
I got a good All right. baby. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye, baby. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from. There she is. Hola. Hola. You know what I want to try? I'm trying to think if I put you on my phone speaker. Hold on. I'm going to try something. Okay. Now I have you on my phone speaker. So, like, I wonder if there's a way that I can get, like, basically, like, where I can, like, play music on my radio. You know what I mean? I don't know, though. After, I'll have to experiment with somebody else. I don't want to waste my minutes with you. Um, yep. But, um, but yeah, like, this girl, though, like, nobody knows we're together. I mean, it's like, shit, except for the people on YouTube, but, you know. Yeah. It's like, I know that you're you're taking it slower with people. I haven't told anybody. I mean, my, you know, it's kind of weird, because my mother was always taller than me. My father is, like, your height. My brother is, like, your yeah. height. I don't know why I ended up so short, because there's really no short people in my family. Even my green eyes, yeah. I don't know passive where genes. it came from. I mean, Timothy huh? was the t- passive genes, maybe? You know, because Timothy was the only blonde out of all four of us. Yeah, he was. He was. And, um, and yeah, he, yeah, he had blonde hair. Um, he definitely, I noticed that I did. I did. I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know what makes you comfortable when it comes to talking to him. Of course, I want to be able to talk to you about your brother. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how you feel about it. That's why I kind of let you lead the conversations with that stuff, because of course, if you want to talk about it, I will talk to you about it. Um, or I don't know if you're uncomfortable you know, yeah. oh, wait, hold on, I got a Hold on, hold on. What was that? A message I got a... Hold on. What What happened? It went away. Hold on. Um, yeah, so how do you think it's going to feel like when the day comes, like when you know that I'm coming to see you? I'm going to be very excited. And to be honest, probably nervous because, you know, I'm, I'll probably worry that there's something about me that will drive you away. You want that's that's honestly what it is. That's the that's the honest what do you, answer. What do you I don't do you, I don't know what it would be. I just you know. So you think that I'm gonna come all the way to Michigan and then find something about you like that I don't like or I, I don't know. I, maybe I maybe that'll that'll be a feeling when the time comes, but for right now I know the only thing will be that one of the, the big feelings will be excitement. Let me tell you I'll something, I'll finally get to see you. I'm not, I haven't been in love, even over my 40s, I haven't been in love like 10 million times in my life, okay? And yeah. what I thought was love, I found out was not love. Um, and that could be with anything, even with my family. Um, you know, but I don't know. I, I think, I don't know, I just think that, um, I think that we have both felt the same way. I think that we both have felt... Yeah. Over I guess book. it's the self-esteem problems that we both have. That, yeah. But with, it's weird. with like each so. other, we'll be okay. So did yeah. you get that text, though? Oh, yeah, I got that text. <laughs> I did. I was Will that be all right? That. Oh, of course. It's always all right, babe. Have you had um, any excitement down there lately? Uh. No, not that I can think of. I know it was this dude in, I don't know, a nearby pod. I don't know where, but he just keeps randomly screaming. Wait, who's screaming? Your penis? Huh? Wait, you lost me. <laughs> I said that there's an inmate in here somewhere. I have no idea where, and he's constantly, just randomly screaming. Like, out of nowhere, you just hear him, ah! Like, what in the... You think he's jerking off? Or you think he's just screaming? No, I think he's just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone scream like that when they jacked off. Of course, I haven't heard a lot of people jack off, but, you know. <laughs> well, you know that it has to be going on there because you guys are all guys. So, like, yeah, I mean, there is female pods, but, you know, I have no idea what those are, nor do I care. Do you go? Do, are you around women? No. Other than, you know, female guards or the nurses who are on the med cart, but I never really have to worry about that because I don't take meds from the med cart, so. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, female 
female guards don't worry me or attract me, I promise. I have a feeling no, that's something you might have worried about. Don't worry about it, okay, baby? Yeah, I just want to be there. I want to get there, like, sooner than later. Like, I just, I hate, I almost, like, wish that they had, I, I would have sucked if we couldn't talk on Friday, but you said that you thought if you were going to get transferred, it would be a Friday. Um, yep. Is that what they said? I mean, is that a definitive thing? It's going to be on a Friday whenever it happens? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be on a Friday. And why on a Friday? Like, or is that just when they do I <laughs> have no honest to God idea. I think it's mainly because, you know, the courts are closed on the weekends. So, yeah. you know, yeah. by Friday, there's, pro- there's likely that they'll wrap up certain cases and certain people can be can be shipped out to prison and whatnot. This is the one time in my life when I just feel like so... I've never felt such extreme joy, but I still feel so much sadness because I just I just love you and I want to just hold you and like just have a normal relationship, you know, like yep. just together. As soon as I'm out and everything is done in Oka with, we can have a normal relationship. We can have a normal family. I promise. I know. I know. I just, I, I get nervous. So much, baby girl. I love you, too. And I just, I think that we would be so good for each other, even to make each other better people, you know? Mm-hmm. Because you have a certain thing about you, too, you know, like, you know, aside To be from- honest, I used to have a lot of problems with lying, but I, I don't... I can't lie to you. It just, I feel like if I even tried, it would hurt. Yeah, I, I don't never want to hurt that. you either. I don't want to hurt either of us with something like that. Yeah, definitely don't ever lie to me. That, I won't, baby girl. Like I may that, have had problems with it before, but you're making an honest man out of me, baby. Well, I'm always honest with you. I don't lie to you about anything at all. I know. Um, and I haven't lied to you about anything either. You know, I, um, yeah, just, I, I don't want to ever lose this connection because it's so beautiful that I'm afraid that I'll never feel it again, you know? I know. I know exactly like what a, you mean, baby. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. I think when it comes to true love, it only happens once. Mm-hmm. And if you, and, if and you even the then, mark, it, it may not be for everyone. Yeah. And, and I think, but what I think happens is that people give up too easily. That's why I always make it very clear to you that if the worst case scenario happens and you're in there for a long, long time, that I'm still with you. You know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to do any of that. Like, like if I'm with you, I'm with you. Like, I'm the, probably the most loyal person. Like, my friends, I am the friend to my friends, and you'll eventually meet my friends at some point down the road. I am the friend that all my friends go to when they meet someone who's non-judgmental, someone who can give them good advice. Um, that's who I am to people. But the funny thing is, is that I'm horrible at taking my own advice. It's, it's hysterical. Um, but, like, I don't know. I just think you would have so much fun. Like, when I think about, okay, let's take ourselves out of the reality just for a second and think about, like, because, like, how we interact, for example, and how we laugh and just joke around about, you know, and talk nice about, you know, beautiful, intimate stuff. Um, yep. Like, I just want to live it. I actually want to live yeah, it. I don't... I do, too. You know? Like, I've yeah, never had this <laughs> kind of connection with anyone. Well, me neither. And think about it. I'm in my 40s, okay? And I haven't either. Like, I... My relationship... It was always... You know what it was, too? It's been horrible. I know. Aside from, aside from being a dad, I can tell you this, too. Like, one of the things that always stood out to me because that's part of what my two year thing was, was to figure out, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm in my forties now, but like why am I still, you know, have had a ton of like failed relationships, I've been divorced and all these different things. And I think that I don't know, I I definitely when I was younger I will say this, when I was young, you know, I think everybody kinda goes through this where it's just kind of like the challenge. But at the same time, like for me, as an adult, um, you know, like, I knew, I, I mean, it, it was hard, like, because I love to be loved, but I got so tired of toxic love, and, well, ultimately, to me, it wasn't love, you know, in my opinion, 
Um, yeah. They were all learning things. They were all learning things. And like I said, that's why I tried to bring even some positive into this negative situation with you being incarcerated because, you know, if the situation didn't happen, I would have never met you. And if you're my soulmate, it had to happen somehow and a higher power had to make it happen. And that's why I believe so strongly that if I fight hard enough that we can get this reduced. Yeah. Because why why would why would our two souls be brought together just to be kept apart? Or is it just to say that you can have that true love but you know, even if we have to go without like the real intimacy, like does that like does that mean that that's more of an intense pure love? I don't you know, it's, so it's like no matter how this goes, um there's gonna be something special taken away from it. Um you know, it will what is I, love I mean, without passion. I know, but I love you so much that I, like, even though I can't touch you right now, that doesn't make me not want to talk to you or not want to be with you or any of that, yeah. you know, because you make me feel alive. Like, like I said, I've been dead inside for some years, man. I've just been like the shell of this girl that I used to be. Um, and, you know, and from the very first moment. someone who sees you for who you truly are, a beautiful, brave survivor. My beautiful and brave survivor, baby girl. And you are too, you know, you are too, to me. You know, I'm your number one fan, um, and I I see your strength. I don't see you like everybody else does. I don't. I see you completely different. Um, you know, I mean, I've been around longer than you because I'm older, but, like, seriously, like, just, like, I believe, like, when you say your kind things to me, I believe them. Like, before, with other guys, it was like, I didn't feel it. Like, I didn't feel like that was coming from them. It was just like they were saying those things just to try to get a piece of ass, basically. Bunch of um, things. That's Bunch of hot air to try to fuck. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, but I knew, you know, it was like, and like, but I don't feel that with you. Like, yeah, we have that part, but, you know, I also we feel like we all have intimacy between us, but it's not just heat. There's warmth, something soft and sweet. Because you know what, if it was just a sexual thing, right? Like, if it was just that I had some crazy, in a sense, like, I mean, it's hard to say this, but in a sense, it's like you're, like, a well-known person right now. Um, if it was that, like, it, it, first of all, I wouldn't be spending hundreds of dollars to talk to you, okay? That would not be happening. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't just be throwing money out, and I don't even think about it when I know it's going to us being able to communicate. Um yeah, I just think that we're beautiful together, and I just want to live a normal life together. And yeah. if you're in jail and I'm out of jail, I'll be in the same state as you, and we will make it work. Yep. And um, I won't an do author, anything. We have one minute you. left. Uh, as an oh, author, you, you I've read to... one said, "Love with only heat, without the embers of warmth, burns out quick." But as long as there's that warmth, it'll burn forever. That's beautiful. You made me cry. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby girl, so, so much. That's beautiful. How could not have somebody or 10 million girls tried getting your heart? You have such a beautiful heart. You do. I have no idea. I suppose it's the fact that most of them likely see me as a monster. You're not a monster. I know. You're my angel. You saved me from the darkness. And you and you did the same for me, baby. You know, as dark as my See, world is, you even like... still get my tongue tied up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you know, for using like... Secure. Ah. Goodbye. Yeah. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, sexy. Good morning, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was so busy. That's why I didn't know that you were calling me and stuff. You're I apologize. You're right, baby girl. You're okay. I yeah. figured it's fine. Yeah. I'm not upset. So how's my day today? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. yeah. Other than the fact sure. that I was woken up before I wanted to be, but I'm all right now. So yeah. So why were you wo why were you woken up? What do you mean? I don't even know. The dude just was. Your door? Yeah, he just started. The fuck, bro. That's weird. Like, was it just like another inmate doing it, or, or yeah, a security guard? Or just another inmate for some goddamn reason. 
And it was That's calling so us weird. something. I don't even fucking remember what it was. I think one of the names was Loki. I don't know who the hell he was talking which one of us he was talking to though. So what were they saying? Like were they saying like op- like open something? Like like what did they I don't want? even Are remember. You? I don't even remember. Oh my god. The dude's uh I'm pretty sure his uh, sanity is barely screwed down. Wait, hold on. I can't hear you. One second. Give me a second. Okay, I got you. You hear? Yep. Okay, cool. My speaker thing shut off for some stupid reason. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I can hear you now. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. So, so that happened. So, what, so how, like, how much sleep did you get? Did you sleep at all or no? Yeah, I got a good amount of sleep. No. Well, good, good. Uh, you said, I love your voice. You don't even know how happy you made me that you actually called. I looked at my phone because I had my phone down because I was doing a bunch of shit. And then picked up my phone and I was like, oh my God, I missed his call. So I was hoping you weren't shut off, you know? You're all right. Uh, you know I nice. love hearing from you, baby girl. I love you. I love you. I love I you, too. Hearing- I wish we were together. I want to be there with you. Really, really bad. <laughs> good girl. Thank you for spending your night with me, though. You spent the whole night with me on the phone. It was awesome. Of course. It was really cool. I enjoy like, spending time with you, and I'm definitely going to enjoy spending it in person with you a whole lot more. I know that much. I know. I want to just hug you. <laughs> I just want to hug you. Um... I woke up super happy though I thought of you. I always think of you. You're always in my brain. Always in my brain. And I was always in my brain too, baby girl. I can't what, get you out and I don't want to. Yeah. Things are good and I'm learning so much more about you. You know, it's like, you know, we have our sexy talk, but then we also talk like just about things about life and it's amazing how we're getting to know each other. I love it. It's like, it's like it was magical. Yeah. yeah I love it too, baby girl. I love so you. Your, I love you. Do you get to go outside or no? No. And the no. windows here are minimal. So are we don't serious? get any sunlight. That's not even healthy. Like, you have to get outside and get fresh air. You know, all we got is a bunch of recycled ass. Oh, my God, baby. I know. Uh, I know. It's so horrible. Things that I want to say but we're being recorded right now. <laughs> That's why I need to get there and talk to you in person because there's things I need to say to you. Yeah. So it's, you know, yeah, and it's, <laughs> I can't. Um, but anyway, so so you don't get to go outside. So you really don't like that. That sounds horrible. Yeah. So like, when was the last time you got to smell fresh air? Like actually, like outside. Uh, when I sprained my ankle. Oh, that's right. How's your ankle doing, babe? It's way better now. I've been okay, out of the walking boot for months. And, you know, there's no lingering pains anymore. Oh, I want to kiss it. I want to kiss it. I would have I taken care of you. You hurt yourself. Um, so I mean, so the swelling you- was bad enough for it to be seen on x-ray. How did I end up spraining it? Yeah, like how did that happen? Uh, I was going down the stairs one day, and I missed step, and I would have taken a tumble if my hand wasn't on the railing, but okay. my ankle still rolled. Oh, ow! Yeah. My baby. <laughs> And, of course, I thought maybe the pain would go away. I thought it wasn't, you know. I've had a little, like, minor ankle sprains, you know. Like, you sort of, you're, yeah. you're walking and you sort of, like, unintentionally slip and, like, you're momentarily on the side of your foot. It's like, ouch. Yeah. Something like that. But, you know, this was, oh. like, completely non-weight-bearing. I could not put any weight on it. That's and of course, That's... I didn't tell the guards until lunch or till breakfast the next day because I thought it would be fine. And when what? I did hit the button, they're okay. like, well, okay. why didn't you tell us yesterday? And my first thought was, they saw that and they didn't it... even 
ask if I was okay. Yeah. And now they're asking you why you uh, didn't do that. That's yeah. bullshit. No. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very glad that they didn't try and charge me like 400 bucks for x-rays and the walking boot and whatnot. Because technically they can't. The injury happened on their property. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, with that situation, can you sue the, can you sue the jail? Uh, if they had um, charged me for the, the, the x-rays and whatnot, most likely, yes. But, okay. you know, it was slightly my fault that I sprained my ankle, but it was, you know, not on my property. It's not like I was, it's not like this is my house. Yeah. Oh, I just, just, we were talking less than 12 hours ago, but I still missed you. As soon as I hung I up with you. you know? I always miss you as soon as I'm not uh, talking to you. So how did you manage to have this conversation about your hand with your roommate with him not knowing what you were talking about? <laughs> uh, I just said, hey, I'm curious about a measurement. And he's like, okay. Uh <laughs> And at first he thought I said from the start of my middle finger to the tip of it. Okay. But then I had to elab- I had to clarify, no, tip of the middle finger to the base of the palm. <laughs> All that stuff. How do you want to go back to work? Because you can't talk to me tonight, can you? No. I know, baby girl. It's so harsh. Aww. It sucks. <laughs> this really, really sucks. I want them to fucking transfer you already. Like I do too. I'd definitely be, hopefully, at least able to talk to you once a day, if not more. Well, yeah. Hopefully, those miss- talks would be a lot longer. Yeah, I just, I just look here from your voice like you take me into another world when I hear you. Like, and on one of the walls, one, on one of the rooms, some guy killed himself on the sofa. And then in another room, a guy killed himself on the so the room with the sofa, like, you could still see the damage on the painting behind it and, like, in the Eesh. wall itself. Drug I'm so sorry you've had to see all that, baby girl. I hope you haven't had to see bodies too much. No, I haven't had to see any bodies. I've seen God. one myself, that... and it's almost impossible to get out of your head. You know? I, well, the only person that I saw die, like, actually, like, dead was my father. Because my dad was really tall like you, and so... When he was on, when he was dying on the hospice bed, I just climbed into bed with him and cuddled into him like a little girl until he took his last oh. breath. Um, you you know, have I one minute left. What the fuck? Shit. Um, well, you know what I'll do? Um, how long is your phone stuff good? Till 11? Yeah. So I can text you in the meantime, because I'm just going to run in and make sure that nobody needs me in there, because I'm the only person, like, kind of yep. here right now. Yep. Um. But I love you. I love you so much. And I love so you too, baby girl. Talk. Let me know when you want me to call you again, because I know you do. Of course I do. I want to talk to you until 11, but I've got to make sure I don't get fired from my job. Otherwise, I'll never make it there. So I need to make my money. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be messaging you. It might be in like five minutes. I just got to go see what's going on. Bye. All right, baby girl. I love you, babe. I love you. I love you. I love, I love you, you too. So much. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. I'll talk to you in a few. Talk to you in a few, baby. Okay, wait, did we get our minute yet? Uh, it did give us the warning. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, Hello. Hi, I have you in... I have I you went down the wrong way right there. What was that? You went, you swallowed the wrong way? No, something went down the wrong pipe, as we say oh. back in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that saying. That's the saying that I grew up with, too. <laughs> but, yeah, I had um, the owner here before, and um, I was, like, they were having a meeting with, like, 10 people, and I'm, like, I hope these fucking people don't, you know, stay all night. And the funny thing was was that I hardly ever see them. And then tonight, of course, I was a rebel, and I came in in jeans, and, <laughs> and of course, they show up. I'm, like, oh, my God. But you know what I think sidetracks them? What? Because I, I baked cookies. Like, they have a kitchen here, so... Uh, they were just you just racked them with food. Genius, big girl. So we get them in, and, and oh. me and my me and my boss... I have two sitting right here, I'm, like, eating. Um, Me and my boss, Allison, 
were like, oh my God, these cookies are fucking huge. So basically, they spent less money, but there's less cookies, and they're freaking huge. So of course, when I saw that, I was like, I'm going to have to eat one of those. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm on my first one. I actually, it's weird. I don't even eat that much. I don't eat a lot. But oh. I wish, like, I was one of those people, like, that can, I mean, I've never weighed a crazy amount of weight except when I was pregnant. But, like, um. No matter how like, much I eat, the weight you see is what I've always kept. Maybe I might lose something time to time, but. You know. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're gorgeous. Um, it's yeah, nice yeah, to know that somebody yeah. likes likes me how I am, you know. Oh, I love that, it! I love it. I was always, I, was, I for years, I'd had that stereotype stuck in my mind that women like their men to have at least a little bit of muscle. Baby, you are perfect just the way you are. <laughs> Trust me, you are. I don't like that you are at all. Incredible, you know that, baby girl. <laughs> no, it's true. I don't like guys like that. I've never have. I think it's gross. Um. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. I'm sorry. You probably think I'm such no, a bitch. No, no. I'm very <laughs> glad that someone doesn't want me to change who I am. No, I to no. I have someone that I can talk to who doesn't want me to fit into some weird box, you know? I would actually get upset if you got all muscly. I would be less turned on. I'd be like, no. just You know what? Let me turn the TV on in the... Hold on. I know. Can you believe... I thought, you know, it's so funny how fast time goes because I looked through, I actually took the time. I hadn't done this yet, but I took the time today to actually, well, I'm just putting my do not disturb line so I can go have a cigarette. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I looked at our conversation, and the first one that I got from you was when I told you, um, February 23rd, I think it was. Um, and I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, it's already, I'm like thinking like it's still less than a week, and I'm like, we've already been talking like every day for almost two fucking weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, it's so weird. When you get older, time just goes like super, super fast. Um, and yeah. I was just like, and that was when you responded. So you didn't get it like, like right away. It was probably a couple of days after I first wrote to you. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I was like, what? I'm like looking at the messages and I'm like, <clears throat> sorry, that door is loud. I'm like, how the hell? Oh, good. I'm excited to have a You fucking idiots are out here. If you hear anybody talk to me, don't get worried. You'll hear how I am with other people. You're going to be like, that's the same girl? <laughs> um, no, I'm going to be like, that's my girl. Show them. Yeah, nobody's going to fucking bother me. I'm, I'm tough. I am. I'm little, but I'm tough. Um, but, um, but yeah, so anyway, I got the full story on the hanging. She attempted to hang herself. This was recent, he said. And he said she fucking, it, she failed, I guess. She's probably, like, I guess too big. So instead of, like, hanging herself, he said the whole fucking feeling came down. He said a tight busted. <laughs> Um, he said it was a fucking disaster. So I said to him, I'm like, did you see these dead bodies? He's like, we also had people that OD'd and stuff that died. And he said, yeah. He said, don't be surprised if you come across one. And I'm like, ah, oh, I've already seen dead bodies. I'm like, but, you know, usually at a funeral, I'm like, but it would freak yeah. me out to walk into a room. Like, Oh, no, it's I a lot worse than a funeral when, it, when it's, maybe not fresh, fresh, but when it's still, you know. That has to disturb your mind. Oh, Dude, I'm still I, stuck. I, it's been like, stuck I can't, all this time. I mean, and, and you know, it, it, I, I, I know that that has to fucking haunt you. You know, like you were explaining it to me earlier. Um, just like little things, like the smells and the things that you could tell that something was wrong. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like, I can't even imagine... You know, like, that's what I'm saying. You're so strong. You know, I see you as yeah. this beacon of strength because for everything you went through and the outcome, it was like, you know, you still managed to be okay, even with being in there. Like, I know that you were shocked when they told you the possibility of the length, but even still, if I was that person, if I was you, I would have been freaking out, freaking out. And you've always been calm. Like I said, the only time I saw you get an attitude when you were getting um, cross-examined, um, I saw you, yeah. like, like, I could tell that, because I know your personality, even when you text me, you might not think so, but I know, like, I can kind of tell, like, if, like, a mode shifts, you know what I mean, like, a little bit? Yeah, yeah, your empathic abilities. Yeah, and that's what that is. Like, you know, and I know sometimes, like, I, when I apologized earlier, I know that it takes me to places it shouldn't. But that's where my mind will always go. It's like, well, it won't always go there. Actually, I shouldn't say it'll always go there. But it's like, 
once I'm actually there with you, um, then, you know, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. But if it helps you, I promise I won't use buy from now on. Use what? I promise I won't use buy from now on. Okay. If it helps to buy, you know, like saying buy when we're like talking or whatever, I'll, Oh, say I'll talk oh, to you later, okay. or I'll talk to you soon. You know, oh, make yeah, sure that yeah, you don't have to really, worry. Okay, yeah. baby girl. Yeah, I just I always like think like I'm like, how many girls can you possibly be texting? And I know you're not. I know in my heart you're not because I would not commit myself to you otherwise. Okay, so yeah. that's that's the weird thing about my brain is because I know that I do know that, but yeah. you know, I mean, not for anything. You're incarcerated, so it's not like you're out having sex with other girls. But it's just like. <laughs> Basically, because I guess what it comes down to is because you're in there, like, this is the only way that we can communicate, so it's special. So I don't want anybody to be able to touch upon the special, you know, bond that we have, you know? Yep. And it makes and it I even worse that true. that yeah. girl is pulling her bull. That what? The that girl is pulling all her bullshit. I think she got scared with the public thing I posted. I really do because she hasn't posted one thing in like two, almost three days. And that's unusual. Like she always posts some stupid shit. And like I said, I emailed her first. um, And I didn't say much on the public one. All I said to her, I said, I know you read my message. I said, and I said, you better not play any of my phone calls. I said, because if you do, I will come after you with the full extent of the law. And not not even the haters responded. Yeah. Give me a sec. I gotta see if my bunkie could go uh, grab me some of my toilet paper to blow my nose. Uh, okay. Thing is driving crazy. Oh, you got a cold, my baby. Okay. If you want to grab me my roll of toilet paper or a roll of toilet paper, I need to blow my nose. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. You're so polite. You say thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. But yeah. No. So um. I missed your voice. I hadn't heard it in over 24 hours. I know, I baby think. girl. No, like I'm that. sorry for being in oh, such I'm so sorry. Through it. Thank you, Jericho. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope that nobody gets mad at you tonight for talking to me. I don't know. I'll come there and kiss your booty. That was the funniest thing, though, babe. When I was texting you, when I was reading the directions about visitation... Uh-huh. It says that you have to wear very form-fitting clothes because if you're big busted, that it has to be a tight shirt so that they can see that I'm not concealing a weapon between my breasts. <laughs> yeah. like, Maybe I'm your like, whole what? body is a weapon. I was just that like, could kill a man. Kind of, what kind of jail is going to tell you basically to just like show it all off? I mean, and I was like, fine, I'll go in there with spandex and you know, it's, regular. It's not exactly. <laughs> That's that's not exactly what us inmates are wearing. If you've seen the videos, you know that we wear these uh, blue jumpsuits. Well, you I had have to get a, I have to get a, a two X because uh, yeah, a that's my um, yeah a two X because I'm so lanky. If I wear anything less, it's riding up my dick. It's like ah. Oh, because you're so tall and stuff. Yeah. But but then like the two X, that's like that's gotta be like super baggy. Uh, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but the, the clothing underneath is my um, my long johns. I saw that you had on a shirt underneath on your sentencing, underneath your thing. Yeah, that's, that's my um, long johns. How come you had, why you had to be here. cleaned up? I know, I don't know why you had to be in cuffs. How come your mother didn't have to be in cuffs when she did hers? But you wore both times. I was I like, what the know. fuck? Well, you know, that was bullshit. Yeah, they're treating you have one minute like a criminal. Oh, how I already? Mean, I know. What the fuck, man? Let me see this first. Come in and check in really quick. If that's the case, then I'll just say, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. These guys are fucking outside. I'm getting really fucking angry. They're fucking drinking beers and they're fucking trucking staring. And I am super uncomfortable. <laughs> I wish you were here with me right now. <laughs> I know, girl. Soon. I don't... I'll, you'll be there to protect you soon. Yeah, I wish I could but... just call you and be like, babe, come get me. Come here, please. Yeah. Yep. You know, I mean, there. like you said, or like we said, well, actually, we're going to get cut off in a second. Um, I think this person's coming to check in, so let me text you when to call me right back. It'll, if anything, it'll take you like two minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, I love you. I love you too, big girl. Wait, don't hang up. Don't hang up. Wait, we actually got maybe like 10 seconds. 
I, I yeah. want to know you're there. Next time I call, I'll uh, I'll sing that song for you if you like. Yes, I want to. Thank I you for hear using that. Securus. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Really, 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 really need your love. I'm begging you to be kind. I'm begging you to be kind.